Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. Happy, happy Valentine's Day to all of you lovely ladies and gents out there. I will all is blissed, all is wonderful. If you don't celebrate, happy Monday to you. I hope it's not a manic Monday. I am actually off today. Um, I took a couple of days off to celebrate my son's solar return. And he had um, an amazing day. He had a really good, really good birthday. Um, we actually had a couple of beautiful encounters. I saw two um, falcons on Saturday. Um, and it was gorgeous. It was really, really beautiful. Um, because they both flew like directly over my car. Um, and then when we uh, proceeded to go outside to take a nice little nature walk, because it was literally like 70 plus degrees. I think it hit 75 on Saturday. And so, you know, we literally did what he wanted to do. And he wanted to go and, um, you know, ride his scooter, his little electric scooter. And uh, so we took a nice little nature walk and I always tell you guys that when I go out in nature, we have some of the most beautiful encounters. And um, something that happened was just, it was so amazing, I broke down in tears. But um, one of the beautiful animal totems that um, I relate or associate with, like my grandmother, who is an ancestor, is the ladybug. And Friday, it was warm here. and. Um, on my, our patio, on the roof of our patio, which is screened in, mind you, there was a ladybug um, just kind of chilling up on the roof, walking around. And so that was the first um, encounter with the ladybug. Uh, and I was just like, oh, that's my, you know, my little lady. I call my grandmother my little lady. And so, um, you know, we felt all the love and joy. And um, from that moment, so Saturday, when we were all uh, taking a walk, myself, my daughter, and my son, um, we were walking, and my son was like, Ma, you know, a bug just flew on me. And so when we looked to see what kind of bug it was, it was a ladybug. And so I was just like, oh, my goodness. I, you know, that was my little lady coming to say happy birthday to my son um, because of all the places, you know, that ladybug could have landed. And, you know, it landed on my son, who was the birthday boy. So it was just a very beautiful, very uh, peaceful and powerful um, nature walk. We had some really beautiful nature walk uh, experiences. Like we were looking up in the sky and we were seeing all kinds of imagery. And um, I saw the, the, the sigil of prosperity, of abundance in the sky. Um, I saw angel, I saw a foot. Uh, I saw so many different um, symbols in the sky, in the clouds. So it was just a very magical, majestic day. Uh, so I hope that you all had an equally beautiful uh, time. Since the last time I spoke with you all, welcome to anyone that may be new. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I am also an empath. I channel messages intuitively. Uh, I am also Claire Audience, so I do incorporate music into my readings, and they tend to blend very beautifully with the messages that come out in the tarot cards. Right now, we have Olive, and this is called Safer Hands. So that is a beautiful um beautiful message that I feel you all are in safer hands. I feel someone that's going to protect you, that's going to honor you, that's going to respect you, um, could be coming in. Uh, I feel some of you all, most of you all, uh, if you're tuning in, you know, most of you all have already completed some uh, karmic lessons and completed a karmic uh, relationship. Uh, and so now the divine is kind of ushering you into more of a, more of uh, you being in alignment with the right person. I feel like you guys are aligning with your soul tribes. You know, you could potentially be meeting people and just finding that you have so much in common with them. Um, some of you all are being blissed to have met new love, you know, new lovers, new 
new love interests and you feel safer in this individual's hand. You feel like they are, uh, you know, more mindful of your feelings, more thoughtful, more uh, emotionally intelligent and available. Um, I feel like you feel protected even, like they honor you whether you're with them or not. Um, and that's a beautiful feeling. So with this safer hand, some of you all could also be doing spiritual baths, incorporating um, olive oil. Um, and it's attracting, it's making you more attractive uh, to the things that you desire. So you could be manifesting new things by just simply uh, cleansing yourselves and purifying yourselves in your spiritual baths, but you're also drawing in uh, all that you desire, all that you hope for. Uh, because of the ingredients, the essential oils, or even, as I said, the olive oil that you could be incorporating in um, some of your uh, spiritual baths. So we're going to take a deeper dive. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively. I will, everyone as well, for anyone that may be new, um, this is a general reading. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, check your rising, your Venus, your Mars, Mercury. Just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. This is also timeless. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, that is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. So let's go ahead and get some house cleaning done. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether and spirit ashe i ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters our beautiful deities animal totems earth mother gaia universe source the divine most high god our creator to shine a powerful powerful message of love and of light i call personally upon baba obatala mama oya and baba ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So let's go ahead and see what we got coming and going out going on. We're going to start off with the numerology deck. So right now we have uh, Anthony Hamilton, and this is called Pray For Me. So like I said, you all could be manifesting. We got the manifestation card on the bottom of the deck and on the split we have adventure. So I feel a lot of you all are being more risky, more daring. Uh, you're taking those leaps of faith. You're not living. Um, you're not restricting yourself anymore. I feel like you all are literally like stepping outside of your comfort zone. And I feel like with this pray for me, I feel you strongly have a lot of angels, ancestors, uh, guardians protecting you, watching over you. I feel spiritual protection when I hear that. But this 55 is showing that you're kind of breaking free from doing things very routine. Um, I feel like a lot of you all were kind of like just kind of going along to get along, um, just doing what was safe, um, not stepping out of your comfort zone, but staying pretty much within those um, parameters, if you will. But I feel like with this adventure now, you're going to be more risky. You know, I just see you kind of like being more spontaneous, um, doing things that's exciting, that's fun, that's, you know, daring, as I said. But I also feel with this manifestation and this number eight pink, I feel that there is some sort of, you know, emotional wish fulfillment that could be coming in because this is pink. Pink deals with the uh, heart chakra, as does green. So I do feel like a lot of you all have learned to heal yourselves after completing those karmic lessons, after completing those karmic cycles. Um, you're feeling more fulfilled. You're feeling more um, grounded. You feel more balanced. Uh, and I feel that's why you're also, you know, feeling this sense of um, seeking out what excites you, you know, following your heart's truest desires with this adventure. Um, someone also could be coming in that's going to, you know, really bring some excitement into your life. They're going to be the type of person that's very, um, you know, just fun loving. You know, they like to have fun. They like to just go and take a trip. 
just like I said, spontaneously. They're, they're going to encourage that about you. And with this pray for me, as I said, um, this is someone that you all could have been praying for, you know, and they could have been praying for you. I'm, I'm getting a sense of like twin flame or a divine counterpart or some sort of spiritual union where the both of you are kind of sending up those prayers and petitions because that eight also deals with like wish fulfillment. That also deals with, you know, you sending up those petitions to the divine asking for exactly what you want and now it's manifesting it's materializing and you're starting to see those things uh happen so we're going to take a deep dive see what's coming and going out going on for my beloved scorpios i will everyone is blissed as i said so let's see we're going to use the numerology deck first and then we'll clarify everything okay so let's see what we got coming and going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios. See that? Compassion. So a lot of you have been very compassionate. Um, you haven't been judging, you know, those individuals who may have been helping you to discover your true self. Um, you've literally been very forgiving. I feel a sense of forgiveness when I see this. And I feel like it's because you know intuitively, psychically, um, you know, that people are products of their environment or that people are simply imperfect, you know, and even yourselves, you know, you learn to be more compassionate and, pep and empathetic to what people may be going through, to what those individuals that, you know, that you may have been involved with or dealing with, you know, even though they could have done you wrong. I feel like there's a sense of just, you know, forgiveness. I, I feel strong forgiveness here and I see 1111 um, so that does speak to you being very um, very spiritually aligned uh, this all purple card is that purple deals with the crown chakra so I feel psychically and intuitively uh, you are aware you know of you know what these individuals may be going through or what they could have been experiencing and there were some relationship changes I feel like not even just your love ships, you know, you may have went, um, you know, you may have separated from your lovers, but that was also 11 right there. So some of you all could be, if you are single, you're going to be coming into a partnership. And I feel like this relationship will be more um, suited for you. It would be best suited for you because I feel like you're meeting someone that um, speaks your love language. You know, this is someone who's also compassionate. When I see double numbers, I always feel that you and the person you're attracting are mirroring one another. So this could be someone, as I said, that you have uh, manifested, that you have called in. Um, and we have R. Kelly. The name of this song is Thank God It's Friday. So, you know, if you don't hear from someone, um, maybe you will hear from someone on a Friday. Maybe there will be some sort of really important news that comes through on Friday. Uh, with this 9-9, nine, nine, I feel this changes. You know, there's something changing within your, within your uh, reality. There is a change that is coming. So let's go ahead. See that? I said there's a change and then you have moderation here. 14 reduces to five. So five is all about change. Um, but I feel this is, you know, because this is green, I feel this is a change again that could, um, be in pertinence to uh, an emotional connection. Um, even with this, this looks to be like orange. I feel that there's someone that's drawn to you or someone that's attracted to you because this orange deals with the sacral. And the sacral is the uh, chakra that deals with that divine feminine, that Aphrodite uh, energy. So that's all about like fertility, creation, uh, beauty, attraction, self-care. So someone could be very drawn to you. And the 14 is also reduces to five. So that's the throat chakra. So someone could be uh, communicating with you more passionately or being more compassionate, being more considerate of your feelings. Uh, maybe they will be expressive, more expressive this time around in their conversations with you. So let's go ahead and cut this deck, see what's coming and going out, going on Scorpios. Bottom of the deck, we have domestic harmony, and this is the number 46, so that's a 10. So there is a change. Every ending denotes a new beginning. I feel because this is blue, 
I feel that there's absolutely someone coming in to express how they feel. Green is on the inside of the symbol. So someone is coming in to express their feelings. Someone's coming in. And I feel like this may happen on a Friday. Like when this person comes in, they may call you on a Friday. Um, maybe Friday is a day um, that you'll receive some sort of news. But with this domestic harmony, um, there is an opportunity to harmonize a relationship, a connection, um, because someone is going to be very transparent. You know, this is someone that wants a new beginning. You know, maybe this is someone that is looking to have some sort of um, fresh start with you. And on the bottom of the deck, we have physical activity. So they will be very, very um, active. Like they will be very mindful to show you you know, opposed to just speaking these things, like they're going to show you the action. Their actions are going to align with their words. Uh, this is also um, purple. So this person could be already communicating with you intuitively, telepathically, or you could be having lucid dreams about a particular someone, or maybe even if it's not someone you're familiar with, but this is just letting you know, like spirit is preparing you or letting you know someone special is coming in. Um, we have Odyssey, and this is called Going Back to My Roots. So this person feels like you are someone that they could plant roots with, have a future with, grow a family with, build with, connect with. Um, this is someone that feels that you are family. You feel like home to them. Um, when you hear the words roots, you think of like a family tree. Um, so this is someone that can absolutely see this connection developing or evolving into a long term commitment. Um, they could see, as I said, like generational and the train is honk is honking right now. So that's confirmation. So this is someone that's not coming into play. I feel like this is someone that will come in looking to be committed because with domestic harmony, this is someone that wants that happily ever after. And it was just 1717, which is eight, eight. So eight, as I said, that's like a star. So like I said, both of you could have been praying for one another because eight, eight is again, that's like a mirrored number. So that's you and another person kind of praying for some sort of wish fulfillment. And with that eight, eight reducing to 16, that's seven, uh, that's your crown chakra. So as I said, telepathic, intuitive messages coming through. Uh, a lot of activity, as I said, so many of you could be having like lucid dreams. You could be dreaming of someone in particular. You could be dreaming of being in a marriage, dreaming of, you know, being in some sort of, um, you know, some sort of commitment with someone, having children, a family, um, just sharing your life with someone. But I feel with this physical activity, that 67 reduces to 13. And that 13 is the death um, card in traditional tarot. So someone could be going through some sort of, um, I heard ego death. Um, someone is per perhaps maybe they're going through a, a, a relationship. Um, they're ending a relationship, a karmic relationship. Uh, so they're working through that, uh, process. But I feel that with that three, you know, that 13, that still reduces to four. So four is like 11, 11, which is like that twin, twin flame vibration. And with going back to my roots playing by Odyssey, I feel like this is someone whom, with whom you could have had a connection, former life, past life, or maybe this is someone you're familiar with that you could have lost contact with that could be coming in to, um, I heard the word resurrect, um, but just coming back to perhaps heal the connection to rebuild uh maybe something was destroyed because i'm getting the sense of like destroy rebuild so if it was destroyed that's the tower so maybe there was a tower moment to argue a fight separation uh but now there's an opportunity to um reconnect rebuild you know and um, I'm not getting ex vibes. I don't feel this is an ex. I feel this is someone that you could have been acquainted with or someone that you could have dated before, someone that you could have worked with, lived around, someone that could have just been a friend. Um, we have John B. Um, I do what you say, boo. So, yeah, so with I do, yeah, this person, 
may be coming back around because as I said, that song Roots uh, was playing and I was associating that with someone wanting to come back and build, you know, a root, you know, build a legacy with you, you know, uh, commit, um, build a nucleus, you know, so this is someone that's looking to marry, you know, that 1111, that is also about marriage, commitment, um, and just having that happy house, happy spouse, the happily ever after. So this will be someone that will be very, um, they will show you, you know, how they feel. They will be attentive, you know, because remember we had pray for me. So I do feel like, again, this is someone you could have prayed for. So let's see, who is the person Scorpio is attracting and how do they feel in their emotions right now? So this is the overall energy, domestic harmony. And the person you're attracting. So this is someone that's taking a time out. They've gone through some sort of ending but they have clarity, they're illuminated, they're clear-minded. And as I said, that 37, that 10 reduces to one. So this is someone who's uh, taking a time out to heal, to rejuvenate and revitalize themselves after some sort of ending. Uh, maybe there was, you know, a relationship because this is two tens. So someone, I'm getting uh, 10 of swords, 10 of wands energy. But as I said, those are karmic lessons, karmic cycles that are kind of closing out. And so as you close those cycles out, you have a new beginning. So these tens absolutely reduce to ones, which are new beginnings. So there's a new beginning, a new opportunity to have domestic harmony, to uh, come into union with someone that you will be spiritually aligned with, mind, body, and soul. And with John B singing, what you say, boo, I do, um, this is someone that has marriage on the brain that isn't afraid of commitment. This isn't someone that's going to run away from that opportunity. Um, this person could be, as I say, communicating with you telepathically. Uh, maybe they're taking the time out to heal, uh, taking that time out to do some soul searching, to, to reflect on their experience. Uh, you know, I'm getting hermit mode vibes hanged man vibes because that allows you to see things from a different perspective. The hermit is a wizard. So this is someone very wise. And because this is all purple, I feel like whoever you're attracting Scorpio is very psychic, uh, very intuitive. And I feel like they're very informed, like they are very aware of what it is they want. And what they want is to be able to share their lives with someone and they're not afraid to um, show. So this is someone that will be attentive. They're going to let their actions speak. Um, this isn't someone, that, I feel like this is also someone that doesn't do too much speaking. I feel like this is someone that's really um, very, uh, uh, it's like a silent, um, almost like a silent, um, how, do you, how do you say that? It's like this is someone that moves in silence. But it's like when they move, you know, like when they do act, it's like you feel it, you know, you know. Uh, and that was just 2323. So that's five, five again. This person will communicate with at some point, you know, they're going to they're going to at some point they're going to stop watching because I feel secret admirer. That's why I said silent, I guess, because they're kind of like secretly and privately watching you. Um, and now they're ready to be, you know, more active. They're ready to. Uh, put their plan into motion or they're ready to come out of hiding uh, because that was another 10, that 5-5. Five, five. So this is someone um, that is absolutely not uh, expressing anything at this time because they're taking a time out. And the hermit goes and seeks answers from within. So they detach and unplug and disconnect from the world uh, so as to gain a better understanding uh, for themselves by going within because that is where you seek the answers. Their answers are never external. It's always internal. So that person that you're attracting, that's what they're doing at this time. And they're getting the clarity. I feel like they're also trying to muster up the strength and the courage to come towards you um, with that yellow. So let's see. We have um, Leon Ware, and this is called Lotions. So let's see what we have. How does this person Scorpio's attracting feel about Scorpio? So we have, oops. 
So they feel the 66, that's a double number again, healing. So they feel that you're still healing from some sort of karmic lesson. Uh, they feel that you are or you have healed. Um, they feel that you're, you, you may have utilized, uh, you know, some sort of creative project to kind of like turn your pain into power. Because uh, this blue, the throat chakra, isn't just about communicating um, or articulating your words. It's also about, you know, expressing yourself creatively and artistically, um, honing skills, gifts, and talents. And I feel that maybe those skills, gifts, and, gifts and talents that you've been honing, this person feels like, you know, you, you, you've become a healer, um, that you have a very strong ability to heal. Uh, the 6-6 six, six is also the number of harmony. That's also the number of the first eye. So as I said, there is a lot of cerebral activity here. Like this person could be communicating with you. They also feel like you're highly, um, like you're an oracle. Uh, they feel that you're very, very um, powerful. That almost like you could see through them, you know, like they feel like you see right through them, right through their bullshit, <laughs> you know, um, or maybe you could just see through bullshit, period, if you don't know who this is. Uh, but with healing, I feel that they also feel you have a very healing and a very loving and nurturing quality about yourself. Um, this person loves conversing with you also. I feel like if you are familiar with, this, with who this is, if this is like an old acquaintance, friend, neighbor, old colleague, or just, you know, someone you used to date that is, you know, kind of attracted to you, a secret admirer, whoever this is, it's, it's, they, they really love the way you express yourself. Uh, maybe when you used to converse with this person, um, the two of you may, you know, share a lot of similar interests. You may have um, a liking to the same type of music or, you know, you just, you, the two of you just, the conversations are very stimulating, very intriguing to this person. Uh, but they do love that healing, nurturing, loving, uh, compassionate, empathic uh, quality that you have. And also uh, that you are very psychic, you know, that you're very, very intuitive, if you will. And with this environment, 44, this could be someone that is uh, around you, someone that you may live around, someone that you may work with or may have worked with. Uh, with this green, this is all green. So there is a sense that you feel very grounded right now. I feel your angels are also with you because that's like 4-4. Four, four. Uh, so with this 4-4, four, four, that reduces to 8. I do sense um, this person has, um, I feel that you and this person have some sort of uh, strong spiritual bond or connection. Um, like the both of you are mirroring one another and see one another as you know that divine feminine divine masculine that yang that yin energy um twin energy it's just like the both of you feel each other grounds one another like you ground one another this is a very beautiful and en um energy here so i feel like also you may be going out in nature it was just 28 28 so that's 10 10 again both of you have completed cycles both of you have um, learned from some sort of karmic lessons. Um, both of you have been healing from those lessons. Both of you are looking for domestic harmony. Both of you may have gone into hermit mode to take that time out to heal and to do some deep dives, to um, take those internal self audits so that you can purge and release, you know, certain belief systems, habits, ideologies, behaviors, um, that no longer serve you. You know, it's about cutting yourselves free from, you know, what no longer serves your highest good. And with this environment, I feel like, you know, you also spend a lot of time out in nature. You may go out in nature. Um, maybe the both of you may have met in nature outside in an outside setting, maybe on a nature walk. Uh, but I do feel like if you know who this is, this is someone that's your twin flame, 29, 29, that's 11, 11. And so we have Mad Lib playing. This is called Face the Sun. So with Face the Sun, the sun is what provides illumination. Uh, it's also what provides the truth. You know, it is also um, a celestial energy that brings happiness, joy. Um, it's also very vital for your 
uh, for your sustainability, for your life, you know, for your, for your, um, for your life. <laughs> Without the sun, you'd freeze to death. So it's literally like this, this, so this is someone absolutely that sees that you bring some sort of joy and happiness. Um, you bring joy into their life. Like you just are a ray of sunlight. I feel like this person feels like you radiate love. You radiate light. You have this very healing, um, healing energy, healing quality. And this is something that's very attractive uh, to them. You know, so that six, six reduces to 12. So that reduces to three. So this could be someone that wants to come back and reunite because um, I'm getting three of cups energy. But this is also someone that wants to collaborate, work together, partner up with you. I'm getting three of pentacles energy. Um, both of you could be healing from heartbreak. I'm getting three of swords energy. Um, and I feel like with that three of wands energy that I'm also seeing, uh, this is someone that is, you know, prepared to take action. Someone that you could have been manifesting. They could have been manifesting you. And now it's like what you've been manifesting is here. So with this environment, this person could be closer than you even imagine. Um, so we have Alton Ellis. Breaking up is hard to do. So maybe this person is, like I said, maybe they are now going through uh, clearing up and cutting free from a karmic. Um, and they're healing from that. Maybe they've already done that because they're taking this time out. And now, you know, they're also healing from this because I see the double sixes, you know, and they could be communicating with you telepathically um, as a way to encourage you to be patient because they're working through whatever it is that they've been going through. Maybe they're going through some sort of um, financial, um, you know, constraints trying to get their money right. I just had uh, my phone just went off, so that could absolutely be confirmation. But someone is healing from breaking up because they could have been in a long-term relationship. Maybe they were with someone for up to 12 years um, or 10 years, um, and you know they're still healing from that. And I feel like you all know this because you could feel it as that oracle, as that psychic, that telepath. Um, that you are, you know, I feel that you you already can sense that what you've been manifesting um, It is coming, but it's requiring patience and this person could be just trying to get their finances together uh, Because maybe they were in codependent relationships Maybe that was one of the lessons they may ha may have had to learn So they could be getting their coins together trying to get back on their feet trying to find that stability, that independence on their own. So what is uh, hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit of love and light? What is hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios? What is hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit? Thank you. So what did I just say? Trying to get their independence, and we have individuality, and this is the number 11. So this is your twin flame. Your twin flame is working on um, finding their independence on getting back on their feet, uh, so they are rebuilding, you know, after the tower, after that ending, this is the number 11. So they're rebuilding now on a more solid foundation. And we also have this 55 adventure that flew back out. So this is what's hidden in the energy is someone is preparing, um, you know, to they're, they're getting their They're mustering up the courage. They're mustering up the strength to come towards you. But they're now, you know, trying to get their uh, trying to sustain themselves because I do feel they may have been in a codependent relationship and are now uh, learning that their independence is a foundation and this is confirmation again um, so their independence is a foundation for their security their stability and their overall happiness and with this 55 adventure this person has also been very con um, constrained I feel like restrained um, stagnant you know um, and with Breaking up is hard to do. Uh, you know, this person could have been suffering with bouts of depression, but I do feel like, you know, their individuality is, is, is starting to um, bring some sense of, of happiness and joy. Um, they're feeling stronger alone now. You know, they're feeling a little stronger. Um, they're being more creative. Um, and they're more focused on self-care, you know, whereas before they had to always constantly cater to someone else's feelings and pander to this person that they were with uh, because it was more of a codependent relationship which is more toxic 
Um, it's different from being attentive. When you're pandering and catering to someone's every beck and call, that's more like, you know, that's exhausting um, because I don't feel it was reciprocated. Uh, so this person had to learn, you know, and with that 11, I strongly feel this is someone that is your twin flame um, that is also, you know, kind of going through those same spiritual, uh, going through that same spiritual journey that you all have completed. And this person is also seeking change and adventure and excitement. And they're going to be a little more, uh, you know, more ex uh, fun loving this time around. We have, what did I just say about self-love? I didn't even see this card. So this person is focused on self-love um, because self-love makes you more attractive ultimately. Um, and I also feel like this person sees that you have a great deal of love for yourselves now after healing from whatever, you know, um, toxic uh, relationships or, you know, friendships or toxic circumstances you know, familial traumas, childhood traumas. It's like they see that you've literally healed from those things and now you have this love of self. And this love of self is making you more of a magnet because you're practicing self-care. And self-care is all about being gentle with yourselves, being patient, um, doing things that make you feel um, special. So some of you all could be going and getting you know, haircuts, getting your hair done, getting your nails done, getting massages. Maybe you're, you know, getting new wardrobe. Um, but this is just, you know, something this person sees now. Maybe even the way that you treat yourself or the way that you communicate or the way that you are, um, the way you are now is just completely different. And that could be encouraging them to also, you know, focus more on um, healing themselves in that same manner. So we have right now Avant, and this is called Separated, and it is uh, officially 10.10 on the clock. So absolutely mirroring this person. So this person is, uh, I feel you and this person are separated. Like this is someone that you're no longer speaking with, someone that you were, um, you may have been very cool with this person. Like y'all really had a lot in common. Um, as I said earlier, I was picking up similar interests, like-minded um, individual but I feel like you separated yourself, severed, just severed the ties with this person for whatever reason. And we'll see those reasons when I delve deeper. But the self-love here shows that this is something you started to exhibit. Um, so you could have get ghosted this person, you could have blocked them, cut them free. But this 61 reduces to 7. And um, I feel this is uh, a lot of communication. As I said, a lot of uh, dream activity. Someone could be dreaming of you. Someone could be getting messages from their angels, ancestor, spirit team uh, to focus on loving themselves, to focus on treating themselves better. Uh, and you could do that by just, you know, cutting yourself free from toxic relationships, people that abuse your kindness, take you for granted, you know, people that don't reciprocate. And maybe that's a, an epiphany or that aha moment someone could be having. So what is the outcome for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit? What is the outcome? We got on the bottom of the deck synchronicity. So just as I've been picking up this, uh, you know, twinning, this this mirroring and we have synchronicity. So this 87, that's 15, that reduces to six. So this is someone that is um, equally yoked with you. That's that spiritual union. You all are separate in separation right now. Um, there's no communication is what I'm gathering. Again, this is not an X. I keep hearing. It's like, you know how you see neon signs for like hotels? I keep seeing that clearly in my mind's eye, but it's saying not an X, not an X. Like I keep seeing that. So this is not an X that you're separated from. This is not an ex-husband, an ex-fiance. This is a f like someone you know. You may be familiar with this person or this may be just someone that you've known from a past life. But this is not an X, so I got to say that because that's what they keep telling me to say. But with the synchronicity, some of you all could be having a lot of synchronicities. You could be seeing 666 because this does reduce to 666. You could be seeing 888. You could be seeing 777. You could be seeing 1111 all the time, 555. You could be seeing 1010 all the time, um, 333, 444. Uh, so a lot of you all are seeing a lot of synchronicities, 111. Um, if you are seeing those numbers, um, that is just the divine communicating with you, letting you know that you are on the right path. Those are those little nuggets 
you know, of, of information, those little nudges from the divine that you are doing the right thing, you're on the right path, and to stay the course, not to get distracted, because you may have some things around you trying to pull, you know, on your energy or to distract you off your path. Um, so stay focused. Uh, some of you all could be having like synchronicities or some sort of um, divine interventions. Maybe you're having like little encounters with certain animal totems, uh, as I was speaking of in the beginning of the reading. Uh, maybe some of you all are seeing ladybugs. Maybe you're having feathers just fly and land on your car or land on you. Um, maybe you're seeing certain animal totems. Maybe some of you all have seen falcons or hawks or cardinal birds, red, brown. Um, but whatever you're seeing, you know, those synchronicities, those acts are, you know, divine interventions. And those are, that is the way that your, your ancestors communicate with you. But that's also the way that the angels, you know, divine communicates with you. And if you don't know the meanings of what some of those angel numbers are that you're seeing, just look it up. Um, if you don't know the meaning of the animal totems you're seeing, look it up, research it because there's a message that the divine is like the divine is trying to tell you something. God is trying to tell you something. Okay. So let's put this down and let's see what these messages are. So what did I say about you all completing a cycle? And so we have dip set. I really mean it. So this time around, you really mean what you said when you ended the connection. I feel like somebody that you are also attracting because this is the outcome energy. Someone is finally, uh, you know, hitting that nail in the coffin, that finalizing a relationship. And this is them finally completing their karmic lesson. 41, 41, that's 5, 5, that's 10. So this is a 10 card. So they're walking away from a karmic. Somebody is finally going to release that ex, going to walk away from that person that was making them feel... Um, restricted, stuck and stagnant, someone that could have been codependent on them for stability or security or for whatever. And they're prepared for, you know, some newness, you know, excitement for, you know, something, um, you know, for some spontaneity, spontaneity in their lives. And I feel like this is someone who had to heal, you know, childhood traumas. They had to heal that inner child. Um, and this required strength. This required resilience. You know, um, it wasn't an easy process for this person because maybe, you know, they are the way they are because of, you know, their environment. We saw that environment card. So maybe this is, you know, something that the way they were raised, maybe they've learned certain things during those very vital developmental years. Uh, and they, it, took, it required a lot for them to break free you know, from some of those habits, behaviors, and belief systems, but they're finally doing it. And with I really mean it, this person could be finding them way their way towards you and expressing their feelings, and they really mean what they are saying. But I feel more than anything, they're going to show you that they really mean it with their actions. Um, so that 10 is going to reduce to 1, which is now uh, completing a karmic lesson and a karmic cycle, and now opening up a whole new cycle of life. We have spiritual partnership here. Look at that. What did I say? You were coming into a connection with someone that is your divine counterpart, a spiritual union, the yang to your yin, someone that you are, you know, aligned with spiritually. And this is someone that's really going to mean what they're saying. 43, 43 again. So that's 7-7. Seven, seven. Both of you are very psychic. This is a spiritual un partnership. So as I said, you and this person mirror one another. And this is 27. So this person has um, finally threw in the tile, towel. They threw the line in the sand. They drew the line in the sand, rather. And they're walking away from that karmic relationship, that karmic connection. And they're coming towards you because they feel a more spiritual bond. They feel a more spiritual connection. The train is going by. So, there we go. It's confirmation. So this person is finally mustering up the courage, strength, and uh, gathering the courage ultimately to come towards you. This person's drawn to you and attracted to you, but I feel, as I said, and that's confirmation again, they could be communicating with you telepathically, visiting you in your dreams, kind of telling you to be patient with them in this process because they are still wrapping up a cycle. 
and it's 4444 four, four, four on the clock right now. So this is a twin flame. This is someone that is equally yoked. Both of you have been praying for one another. That's 44, four, that's 844, four, four, that's another 8. And remember, we saw that eight in the beginning. So that's two people praying, sending up prayers, petitions, saying their chants, their daily affirmations, doing their visualization um, practices, calling in their divine counterpart. And what you're calling in is someone that is uh, a like mind, someone that is very similar, um, not even a similar, but someone that's also um, very spiritual they're a, a spiritual practitioner healer shaman light worker oracle magi uh war uh wizard this is someone that has a spiritual um you know spiritual they have a very spiritual nature about them as well and i feel like this person does communicate with you telepathically we have um we have the spook who sat by the door, and this is by Herbie Hancock. So this person could have been someone very incognito. Um, incognito. I'm getting someone that's like, like again, that, that secret admirer. So they could be watching you, you know, in hiding. They could be just kind of watching you, and that's how they know that you have healed, or that you have grown, that you have elevated or ascended um, into this very, you know, very powerful very uh, majestic, mysterious person. Like they, they love what they see. And this is why this person has been triggered to do their inner work because they, they know that they have to match you because they see that you have this air about you now. You're, you, you have this air of confidence, this, this self-love, because we did see self-love. So it's like you're not going to accept anything less than what you know you deserve. You're not selling yourself short any longer. You're not in relationships that are toxic. You don't have those type of dynamics because you've cleaned house. You have cut off the people, places, and things that don't serve you anymore. You have rebuilt on a more solid foundation. So I feel this person is really coming in to match your fly. This is someone that really feels that they could build a legacy. This is someone they feel they could plant roots and seeds with you. And you all could build a generation, you know, build together, have that long term commitment, that that longevity. This person wants to partner up, didn't I say this is someone that wants to collaborate? This is powerful. So we have uh, communication. So I feel this communication is coming in. This is thirty three. So this person is coming in to harmonize the connection, to bring peace, to bring some sort of resolve. This is another six. And remember, I was saying that somebody wants to communicate with you, you know, to heal the connection. They will come in. Maybe perhaps it will be on a Friday when you hear from that person because R. Kelly was um, singing Thank God It's Friday when we were um, speaking on that card. So this person is coming to bring some sort of illumination, even a truth. Maybe if you are uh, familiar with who this is or you know who this is, maybe things may have ended in the past. Um, in a very like, you know, it was just, it, it wasn't, it wasn't, um, a good send off. Like the two of you ended on a sour note and maybe this person is coming in very humble to apologize. Maybe they've had some sort of epiphany or they have clarity now on what it is they want, or they realize that you brought a lot of sun, a lot of happiness, because remember we had Mad Lib, um, I, I believe it was face the sun. So this person is ready to face uh, the truth, face the reality, face the, you know, to, to be, you know, because maybe they've been self, you know, they've been deceiving themselves and self-sabotaging. So now they want to speak the truth, you know, and it's, it, it's requiring some strength and some courage because maybe this is someone that was wrong. I was picking up like ego death earlier. So maybe this is someone who was very proud, very stubborn even in, to some degree. And with this 33 again, you know, that's the, 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 the first eye chakra. So I feel this person absolutely is coming in to bring, you know, some sort of um, truth to express themselves honestly. And I feel this is going to make you happy because this is a very happy, you know, color and card. You know, that yellow, that, that is about strength. That's about vitality. 
that's also the sun that shines within, which is that solar plex chakra. So this is someone who's had some sort of, you know, some sort of recent um, purge, like they've healed themselves, they've purged themselves of some sort of faulty belief system, of some sort of um, conditioning. You know, like I said, maybe it was something that was rooted in the way that they were raised because we did have that environment card. So they could have been reared in a way to think a certain way about relationships. And now they have clarity now, you know, they've had that that aha moment. And right now we um, have dead prez and this is called be healthy. So this person thinks um, more positively. Maybe they were pessimistic in the past. Maybe this is someone that maybe didn't see, you know, your worth, your value. Maybe this is someone that just was very negative, a negative mindset. And now they're looking at things from a completely different uh, vantage point. They have a completely different perspective of you because you have healed. Look at that. I, sp I spoke on environment and here's environment. So they didn't have the best environment. The, the environment wasn't that healthy. And that's why they had to change. They had to do their inner work. And I feel by you doing your work, whenever you have a twin flame dynamic, that forces that twin to also do their inner work. They also are um, triggered, activated, you know, and this is what they have been doing with that 4-4. Four, four. Remember, we saw 4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. So this is like the 11-11 doubled, you know. You and another person are grounded, balanced, and in alignment because fours are all about stability, security. And this all green is about also emotional fulfillment. You know, you have to first love yourselves before you can have anyone come in to love you. Because if you don't love yourselves, you're going to always attract toxic connections and have toxic and, you know, relationships, experiences. So I feel because you have a, a, a very strong love of self, you're now attractive to other people who also love themselves and will love you the right way. And this is because you have prayed for these individuals. You have sent up those prayers, those petitions. You have said your daily chants. You have written in your manifestation journals. And what you have asked for has absolutely come into fruition because this 4-4 is also eight, which is all about wish fulfillment. It's all about answered prayers. And this is also about, about someone who may see you as a wish fulfillment ultimately. And with synchronicity here, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities because I do feel like this person is going to come in and they will mirror you. You know, the, the six, you know, that's the lovers. Six is also the six of cups. So that speaks to either a past life love or someone you know from your past, not an ex, but someone from your past. Seven, seven on the clock it was fifty two, fifty two. And with the B side, I do feel like this is someone coming back for a second opportunity that feels like they missed an opportunity. So they're coming back. I was getting with the six, six, the three of cups energy. So that's like someone reuniting, returning, looking to reconcile, looking to repair a connection, you know, especially after heartbreak. And this is someone willing to collaborate, willing to invest this time around. Underneath that, we got personal growth and we got rebirth. So someone has seen your, your transformation. And this was a growing pain. This is something both of you, because it was just 7-7, seven, seven, that's again mirroring the fact that both of you have gone through some sort of process where you had to heal from a karmic relationship or karmic relationships. And with the synchronicity, and this is pink on the inside, I feel that this is saying that, you know, these relationships, these connections, these circumstances you have been in were all destined. It was preordained. It was destined to happen the way that it has happened. So let's get some messages from the psychic tarot deck. Divine spirit of love and light. On the bottom of the deck, we got the light. And this is the number 19. Someone has seen the light. Someone is very clear now. They are illuminated. This is also about transparency. And with this, uh, the B side, this is the brat. This is the brat, Notorious B.I.G. 
And this is called the B side. Okay, so this is like I said, I'm getting with the B side. That's like the you know that's like a, a bonus song. That's like the second song on an album. Like back in the days, we used to have record players. Um, and so you know you have an A side and then you have the B side. And on the B side, and that could even be you know associated with it like cassette tapes, because you would have the A side and the B side. You know, so you know maybe this is like an opportunity for a second, second. Um, second go round I'm feeling because somebody sees the light someone realizes you brought a lot of love and light you radiate love and light so it's like you triggered you've activated something in someone you bring happiness and joy in someone's life and that's why this domestic harmony is here that's what we're about to clarify and with stand your ground this is what's happening someone sees you as very very guarded perhaps but you're also like in your power you know, you're saying what's on your mind, you're speaking your truth. Maybe in the past you could have been passive. But with stand your ground, I feel like the divine is also telling you, you know, to continue to, you know, have healthy boundaries. Don't just let anyone come in, you know, from your past. You have to see change behavior in order to know that someone has actually changed. You know, and it has to be like in a change. It can't just be somebody saying the words. You have to see the behavior. You have to see their actions match their words. But with stand your ground, there is, you know, some form of defensiveness, you know, but you feel you feel very victorious. You know, you feel very powerful. This is a very strong stance, strong position. You're standing very perpendicular in your square, on your square. And it's because you've, you've had some sort of clarity. That 19 reduces to 10, and that 10 reduces to 1. So that's about, you know, you feel very strong this time around. Like I said, you took your power back in a situation. You know, you suffered from emotional loss, heartbreak, pain, agony. But now you're more powerful. You've healed yourselves. And I feel like a lot of you healed yourselves by just getting lost in something creative, learning that you were actually gifted and talented in certain ways. And you've been mastering those gifts, skills and talents. You've been sharpening your sword in that regard. Right now we have um, Robert Glasper and this is called um, Calls. And this is um, by Jill Scott, Robert Glasper featuring Jill Scott. So you will receive a phone call, you know, and I feel like this is someone who's um, also, you know, suffered heartbreak and loss. See, this person is ready to come in. They feel more confident. They're balanced. They got their balance. This is like moving away from the pain, the agony, the loss, the stress, the aggravation, the competition, the arguments, the fights. And you see how he's applying his own hands on his heart chakra to heal it. And his hands are glowing. That speaks of the healing that you all have done. Like you've had no choice but to heal thyself. And in healing thyself, you learn to love thyself. And in loving thyself, you now know thyself. And when you know thyself, you know your worth, you know your value, you know not to settle. And so this is now you, you know, moving forward triumphantly. This also could be someone rushing in very passionately. They're waving this red flag, you know, but red is also a, a, a color of passion you know it's a color of strength it's also a color of just desire and fire you know so this could be someone who's very you know very adamant on coming in and with calls I feel they're feeling called to come towards you this is someone coming in assertive and confident and this is because they they have found balance within themselves before that chariot could ever move, it, it's going to, they have to be balanced. They have to be in control. They have to also, you know, be in harmony. You know, they have to be in equilibrium, if you will. And now someone's rushing in towards you assertively, passionately, confidently. Nine spirit, 11 light. See that heartache and loss. This is the mirroring. We saw the masculine that was suffering emotional loss. And this is the feminine energy suffering heartache and loss. And we see calls, right? So you all are being called to one another because you both are mirroring one another. And as I said, this healing, because there was six and six, I felt both of you were healing one another. This person sees you have been doing your work and you could have triggered them. See that? I spoke on passion, there goes passion. And this, this fire is right around where the heart chakra and the, the uh, solar plexus meet up. And so I feel someone absolutely is starting to 
realize and recognize that their heart desires more. You know, there's a calling, there's, a, a, there's an eruption that's happening from within. Whatever feelings and emotions that have been lying dormant is now starting to explode, implode. You know, it's really, um, and it's because someone has been, you know, kind of like stuck in a, in, a, in a relationship, as I said, that was kind of stuck and stagnant. Maybe it was codependency. This is like that Three of Swords energy I was picking up on. But this is that passionate new start, beginning, taking that leap of faith, being risky and dairy, daring. Because remember, you have the adventure card. Oh, it's here. See that? So this is also, you know, that 55, that's 10. And that 10, like I said, reduces to 1. And there goes the one. This is about passion ignited. Doing what feels right in your spirit. What pulls on your heart strings. So let's go ahead. Get a message to my spirit of love and light. Clarify domestic harmony. What did I say? Harmony is clarifying domestic harmony. You are attracting the yang to your yin. This is like the six of cups energy. So this is someone you are familiar with. You know who this is. This is someone returning. This is also the lover's energy to me too. And you see how they're under this, you know, it's like a, um, almost like an, um, an archway. It also looks like it could be like them going through some sort of marriage ceremony. Some sort of commitment ceremony. And this synergy, this chemistry, this connection, it's creating this green. And this green, remember the green is on the inside of this symbol. And that green is associated with the heart chakra as well. See that? And so this is love. This is deep love. This could be a past life love. And this four, six, and six together is seven. And as I said, the two of you communicate telepathically. This is also someone, some of you all could have a seven life path number, or someone could have been born in the seventh month on a seventh day, on the tenth day. Maybe some of you have a life path number, number four, six, or one. I feel this person absolutely, and you, this is like a connection that is... It transcends space and time. I get past life love, but I also feel like if this is someone from your past that you know, this, is, this would be that person you feel like the one that got away or the one you always felt that there was like something deeper. My left ear is ringing right now. It's ringing loud. So some of you all might receive a phone call. You might receive a phone call and we got Joe to see my heart belongs to you playing right now. So this is someone that feels like you're the yang to the yin, yin to the yang. This is someone that absolutely can see a marriage, commitment, children, happy house, happy spouse, happily ever after. This is that person that wants to build that, that, that legacy, build roots and, and, and a nucleus with you. And he said... You're the girl of my life in the song. So this person definitely is um, coming after you all, Scorpios, because this person, I feel like they, they, have, they were in, maybe somebody was in a relationship and they had to end it because they were living some sort of light, some sort of lie. And so they're coming back for you because they feel like with you there was more of a um, deeper connection. See this? And we got triumph. This is the chariot. So this person is rushing in towards you because they realize that this, can, this connection, this chemistry, they feel they don't have it with anyone else. And as I said, both of you communicate telepathically, intuitively. They may be visiting you in your dreams. I'm even picking up like astral traveling. Somebody could be skilled at astral traveling and, and um, v watching you that through those means. But it's like when you guys are around, her, around one another, like you, you may feel like butterflies around this person or you may feel like just this connection, this strong and very powerful connection with this person. And they are coming in quick, baby. This triumph, this, they coming in assertive. They coming in. This is like Cancerian energy. The harmony is, uh, that's the... Um, twins that's gemini energy so they could have air or water in their chart yeah see emotional withdrawal and this is 
we're about to clarify your person's, you know, how they feel in their emotions in this time out. And that's exactly what this is, taking that time out to heal. When you, the water is your element, so it revitalizes and recharges you, but it also allows for you to release, to let go of, of what no longer serves you, you know, be it an ex, be it, a, you know, the ways that you may have been thinking that may have been really uh, detrimental to your peace of mind. But this person is protected. You can see these footprints here. So this person is, you know, it's almost as if they're connecting, as I said, to their higher self, seeking the answers from within, calling in their angels and guides for protection. They've walked away from a connection and they've walked away from the connection because they want to go towards someone, something else. And the someone, something else is someone that makes them feel you know, more revitalized, more, more alive, happy, connected. So why is time out here for Scorpio and the person um, they're attracting and how they feel in their emotions? Why is time out here for the person Scorpio is attracting and how they feel in their emotions, divine spirit of love and of light? Why is time out here? They're all over the place. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. And we have partnerships and alliances. And that's the number three. See that? So they're taking the time out before they come in to collaborate with you, to extend an offer to you because they feel that their heart belongs to you. So before they come in and offer this commitment or before they come in and tell you they wish to work on this connection, they're working on themselves as they should. They're trying to find their own sense of stability and security because this 37 reduces to one and this three. So that's four. So they're trying to find their own sense of stability. They're trying to ground themselves. They're trying to get back on their feet because remember we saw financial discipline. So maybe if they were in that codependent relationship, remember I was speaking of them having to be independent, and so maybe that's what they're working on is trying to find their own sense of stability, security. And once they feel more stable, then they're going to come towards you. Because how they feel is they want to partner up. They feel like you, they could collaborate with you. And we have um, Sean Price, and this is called Solomon Grundy. So they could be taking the time out to pray. You know, maybe they're reading... Um, some of their um, scriptures. This is someone that is going within. You know, as I said, the answers you seek are always found within. And this is someone who, with the price reference, you know, they, they, they paid the price in a karmic relationship. And so that's why they're taking that time out because they have to heal. You know, it may have cost them a lot. Maybe they put a lot of time, money, energy into the connection and it failed. And so they're trying to rebuild their um, finances. Give me one moment. Sorry about that. So definitely looking to come back, looking to have more of um an effort. It's like before I was picking up like maybe, you know, there was a lack of reciprocity or, you know, this person is looking to, you know, to hold on to you and you them. So this is more reciprocity. This is like, you know, literally saying, I got you, you got me. We got this together, you know? And so this is what, this is what I feel this person's um, emotions are towards you. Look at this. They see you as someone very abundant. You know, you have not only material and spiritual, not only material prosperity, but spiritual prosperity. So this is like emotional fulfillment as well as financial fulfillment. But you're also very spiritual. You're an oracle. And I was picking up that they see you as a healer, someone very loving and nurturing. You know, you could be like an oracle. You could be a clairvoyant, a psychic. You know, you could be someone who's very uh, intuitive or a channeler. Maybe you uh, are also a cardomancer. Maybe you scry. Um, but you just have some sort of healing abilities. And you've been mastering those skills. And it's like it's bringing some level of abundance and stability and wish fulfillment here for you. But you have, um, you know, it's like you're being rewarded by the divine. It's like better days ahead. 
They see you as someone very abundant. And this person could be up in their head thinking about you, ruminating, um, kind of conflicted mentally, ang anxious, you know, pining. But this is how they feel about you, is that you have material and spiritual prosperity. So let's see. And that's what's on the bottom of the deck. Okay, thank you, spirit. Okay. And we got emotional loss on the bottom of the deck. So you've definitely healed. You were the conduit of change. And why? Because you have become, you are the divine feminine, divine masculine. This is the energy. They feel like you have healed, you know, because you are the conduit of change. So you've turned your pain into power, literally. And now you're standing, you know, in your power. This is a card of self-mastery. This is a card of divine feminine that knows her worth and value that naturally attracts because you are beautiful. So as I said in the beginning, when you heal thyself, you learn to love thyself. And when you love thyself, you begin to know thyself. And I feel like this is, you know, the embodiment of a divine feminine that knows how to co-create with source. Confirmation. See this trapped in fear? So this person could be trapped in fear, afraid to take that leap of faith to come towards you because they see that you're healing. This is like that eight of swords energy. This is like somebody being, um, this is self-deception. This is anxiety. This is shame. And this is, you know, maybe because they see that they have caused some sort of, uh, some sort of trauma in your life. And we have um, D-Train, keep on. And remember the trains were playing. My phone just went off. So it's confirmation that how someone feels about you is, you know, they see that you're healing. And maybe they're afraid to come in. They, maybe they're a little intimidated. You know, maybe they're telling this, themselves all the reasons why it won't work. And this, this is creating like a prison for them. Because I see these bars. So it's like imprisonment. And let's see. And we have rest and rejuvenate. So maybe because you have created some sort of boundary. And maybe because you have disconnected, maybe that's why this person may feel a little afraid to come toward you. Because maybe they know they've caused some sort of hurt or pain. But with this rest and rejuvenate, they see you're very grounded, balanced, and in alignment. They see you as someone very stable, someone very healer, you know, like a healer. This is someone who's out in nature, so you are uh, also very protective of your energy, very sensitive as well to energy very particular about who you're around and these are both blue cards and I feel the fear is e extending you know I'm hearing olive branch but even just expressing something because these are all this is all blue all of these cards are blue and blue deals with the throat chakra so in this case I feel Someone is trapped in fear to express themselves, to say how they feel, because I feel like this person is not someone who knows how to um, formulate their feel, their words or to express their emotions. They're more of the type to just go and do the generic things like buy a bouquet of flowers. You know, they're not the type to sit down and really talk feelings, <laughs> talk emotions, talk about how they feel even more importantly. And this is like this non-communication causes pain, agony, you know, but they also know that they've, they've caused you a lot of pain and agony and you have evolved into this divine feminine. And you could be someone who could be um, very creative. They see you as very creative, very loving, nurturing, very maternal, paternal if you're masculine. And he's saying sky is the limit and you know that you could be what you want, have what you want. And so this person sees your confidence. Like you know that you are the conduit of change, that you've transmuted, as I said, pain, this pain, this emotional loss into power, the divine feminine. So as I said, maybe there's a little intimidation here. They definitely see you as someone that like you're, you're a star you radiate love and light. Why is individuality adventure here for what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. And so this, this is truth. So someone realized, recognized the truth that they were in a stuck and stagnant relationship that flew out. 
We also have intuition. So they're trusting their intuition. And their intuition, this is 20, and then that's 2, so that's 2, 2, that's 4, so that's 11, 11. So this person is trusting their intuition. You know, maybe they've been doing their shadow work, realizing they were in a, a codependent relationship, lacking excitement, joy, happiness. Maybe the both of you have been waiting for that zest for life. And it's like you, you, this person's realizing they only had that zest perhaps when they were around you, perhaps when they were in your presence. And we see here the patience card. Good things take time to create. Patience is also a form of action. So this person knows they need to be more proactive. With memories of love, this is someone you know from your past. That's the Six of Cups energy. So this person holds you and carries you in their spirit. Maybe this person lights candles in your memory or maybe lights candles. Maybe you make candles. Maybe you handcraft candles. Someone is, is about to come in and speak a truth, though. They know that the only thing, you know, that they have is to speak the truth, stand on the truth, express their truth. And, and their truth is going to set them free, ultimately. They're standing on a scale. And the scale is all about karma, you know. And this, this, twin, this two, it's like they know it's time to walk through to the other side. You know, whatever they've been held up in, you know, because with this individuality, it's like they got to they gotta break free from whatever this co codependent situation is because it's toxic. They're lacking excitement and joy and happiness in their lives, so they need that as well. And everything in their spirit is telling them to speak their truth, live their truth. Living their truth will bring balance. It will bring them into alignment. You know, they've been waiting for things to change, waiting for signs and maybe they receive the sign but this is someone returning from your past to claim you to and this eight somebody that has to you know make the, the decision to walk away from someone that no longer serves them from something that no longer serves their highest good and so we have um cameron you wasn't there so somebody wasn't there emotionally somebody felt like they were pouring into an you know to um pouring into a cup that potentially had holes on the bottom of it it was like all that they were investing emotionally it wasn't reciprocated it wasn't appreciated it wasn't respected and so now this is like finalizing that you know releasing it making peace with it you know the water is healing so this person's going within healing themselves but they're walking away from what once was to go towards what they know to be what's divinely meant for them. And it required patience. And I also see the universe, which is also like the um, world card and then the tri triumph card, which is the chariot. So the divine is saying this situation in and of itself required patience because there was some karmic cycles that were needing to be closed out for both you and your divine counterpart, for you and that person, that yang to your yin, yin to your yang. You both have evolved and ascended in a lot of ways, learned many valuable lessons. And this was absolutely what I feel very destined. So you, you, everything you've experienced was preordained. It was meant for you to go through those karmic lessons to learn value of self-love, to learn not to be codependent, for your person or to learn just to um, be more independent, to be more confident, to stand your ground, speak your truth, stand erect, you know, to not back down, you know. So let's see, why is uh, karmic completion, spiritual partnership, communication, and environment here for what's the, ooh, the outcome for Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. Look at that. Spiritual strength. Somebody is getting stronger. Someone is getting powerful. And with you wasn't there by Cameron, you all did this very privately. You did this alone. See this? Emotional loss is still here on the bottom of the deck. So this is just like literally speaking to how painful this experience has been. And we still got the fertility card. And now we have transformation. So this pain literally transformed into power because you focused on healing. You know, that hand being applied to that heart chakra is literally that 6-6. Six, six. 
Someone is finally getting out of their head and they're, they're trusting the process. They're trusting what the divine is encouraging them to do. And the spiritual strength shows that you have been very obedient. You've been very, very obedient and very much a student of your craft. So it's like you didn't just go through things, you grew through it. You grew through the experience. You allowed every experience you've endured, painful or not, to keep you at a higher vibration. You changed the way that you responded. You didn't allow people to push your buttons and trigger you in certain ways. You just focused on whatever it was that you were doing, and that's how you were able to complete that karmic lesson. And I feel by your spiritual strength, that is allowing your person to, you know, now tap into their own power. But your spiritual strength here is really amplified. It's showing that you absolutely are like a healer, shaman, a light worker. And you're seen as a sage or some sort of oracle, channeler, psychic. You have very strong, because I see this, this looks like a master teacher, this gentleman here. And it's like you're also very, excuse me, you're very protected. I see you as having some sort of high rank in the spiritual realm and you're you're protected because you're like within this bubble. You know, you see that sphere and I feel like that's like an auric field. So you're very sensitive to energy. You're very sensitive to um, to vibrations. Maybe you could see auras. Maybe you have a purple aura. And we have DOS effects, they want effects. Yeah, so you, you could see through, you know, certain people's um, intentions. You could see that other people just want to push your buttons or trigger you or they just want a reaction and um, you're not giving it to them. See that sorceress? I can't make this up. You got sorceress on the bottom of the div the goddess guidance deck, so you absolutely are master manifestors. As you think, if you createth, and you also can speak words into existence as well, so be mindful of your words, but you have strong spiritual strength, and remember, you had spiritual partnership here as well. So I feel like you are matching someone. You and someone is matching one another's fly. We got undying love here, as I'm speaking of you and someone matching one another's fly. So you're, you've manifested someone, you've set your intention, and now they're here. You're attracting someone that has an undying love. This could speak to a connection that is past life, or this could just be that connection, as I was describing in the beginning, of someone with whom you always felt was that person, or you always felt this very strong chemistry, synergy with that person. And I feel like this person is absolutely is your your partner that's why you felt that way that's why you feel that way whoever that person is you're thinking of right now that's why you feel that way because this is a connection that is eternal so that tells me that it transcends like i said earlier you know space and time this physical um reality you know you may have known this person from a former life from several lifetimes to be honest with you and this is a green color like i said so the two of you you know, the two of you together, just there's love. You just you, you there's a love, a, a profound love that you share with this person. You're going to have nothing to worry about. Everything is working out just fine for you. So just be patient. That's what the divine was telling you. Patience, because as you could see, you got to clear up all of the muck, all of that, that that negativity and toxicity. You got to clear that up before anything beautiful could come in. You don't want anything tainting what's meant for you. I feel like a lot of you with this guiding children, a lot of you are helping he people to heal their inner child. A lot of you have healed your inner child. A lot of you have children. A lot of you are, um, you could be teachers or you could be social workers or guidance counselors. You work with children, perhaps in the school system. Or maybe, as I said, maybe you are just healing, helping someone to heal their inner child because we see this environment card. And we have uh, a Mel LaRoe. This is called We Could Be New. So this person, again, like I said, remember we was playing B-side and we was talking about this domestic harmony card. 
So this is someone that wants that second chance, wants to reconcile, wants a, another opportunity. And we got guardian here. And it says you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. And that's literally what I just said. Y'all are very protected. You have a lot of angelic protection. I feel this union is also protected by the angels, by your spirit team, by your ancestors, and also by the person you're calling in. Because it says you and your loved ones. So whoever this person is, they are protected. You are protected. This union is protected. And I feel you two will come in to union because we have a Mel LaRoe saying we can be new. And we also have domestic harmony and harmony there. Look at this prosperity. So you have abundance being showered upon you. This is abundant here. All of your hard work is paying off. There's also uh, things are changing and turning around in your favor. I just feel, you know, there's a lot of fortune. There's a lot of abundance. We saw the material and spiritual prosperity card. And that's how that person was feeling about you. And it's because you literally are being blissed by the divine. We just saw Eileen. Or Irene say, you know, there's nothing to worry about because everything's being handled beautifully. And I feel like they're being handled beautifully because you've handled your karmic lessons beautifully and without any, uh, you know, very compassionately. Like you were compassionate, as we saw in the beginning of the reading, with those who may have even done you wrong, done you dirty. You know, those who could have backstabbed and cheated and lied and deceived you like you still were very compassionate and patient with the process. And for that, you will be rewarded and you have, you know, you have to be receptive and open to receive this. I feel your person is also attracting abundance because they're also doing their work. So why is, um, thank you, spirit. We have time out and partnerships and alliances and we have independence. See that? So they're becoming more independent. Their independence is their foundation for their strength. They're mustering up that strength to walk away from that codependent connection, from that relationship so that they can have more of a solid and more stable, more healthy bond and commitment and partnership. This is drawing. This is like collaborating with the right people, you know, going into partnerships with the right folk. And I feel this person could have been in a codependent connection and now they're wanting and desiring to take that leap of faith towards you. I feel like the divine is also telling you to not be as guarded, to, you know, take the leap of faith, follow your heart's truest desires, do what feels right in your spirit. Don't be trapped in fear. Fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real. You know, this rest and rejuvenation, I feel like someone is also finally, you know, mustering up the strength to come towards you. They see you as someone very healed and they do want this second chance because we got We Could Be New by Amel LaRoe. So someone feels that this connection can be, remember I was hearing the word uh, resuscitated, I think that's the word, or resurrected I heard in the beginning of the reading. So this is someone that wants to resurrect this. This is someone that does live in their head a lot. They tell themselves all the reason why something won't work. This is someone that feels a lot of um, anxiety, stress, very worrisome. This is like that worry wart. You know, they tell them, they talk themselves out of doing things opposed to just taking that leap of faith. It's like, why live in your head when you can just try? And if it don't work, at least you know. But I feel that they're taking a rest from living in their head and now they're feeling more grounded. They feel you ground them as well, that you are their peace. So let's see, why is 66 healing? Um, trapped in fear, rest and rejuvenate here. If somebody is stuck in there, like they are stuck. And this is compassion. So Mama Kuan Yin is reminding you to be compassionate. And remember, I was picking up on the word forgiveness. So if this is someone from your past that you may have cut free from, remember we had separated plan, someone that you may have ghosted, someone you're separated from, um, the divine is telling you to be compassionate towards this person. They also feel you have a very loving, compassionate heart, you know, because this person does feel like you are very compassionate, very nurturing, because this healing card um, definitely encompasses that. That's what it means. You know, when you are healing, you know, that means that you are focusing on loving yourself. You're focusing on, you know, turning that pain into power. And so in that process, you can't 
be judgmental about yourself or the experience about others. It's literally about just kind of freeing yourself from the hurt. And I feel with that, that's exactly what you're doing. And we got Method Man, and this is called what the blood clot. <laughs> so yeah, with, this is definitely you know someone trying to be methodical and how to come towards you, and they're hoping that you're going to be you know very compassionate and not judgmental because they would like you know this opportunity. They're they're looking to heal something with you. And they see you as that divine feminine. This is Mama Yemenya. Thank you, Mama Yemenya, for making your showcase. And this is someone that wants you to accept them, you know, accept them, not judge them, not judge them for what they may have done. Because I do feel like they're eventually going to come in and apologize. I, I do get that sense. What do you deal with? All right, so let's see. Individuality, adventure, truth, intuition, the waiting game, six... Okay, thank you. And we got bold. So the divine is telling this person to be bold, to be daring, to be risky, to not be afraid. What did I say? Somebody's healing their child, their inner child. Somebody could have been very childish in the past, or maybe someone was in a relationship because of the children. Maybe they, you know, were trying to be um, mindful of, or maybe they was just kind of like um, not settling, but feeling obligated because of children maybe children are a factor but I also get a sense that someone is healing their inner child recognizing that some of their belief systems just wasn't working for them anymore something within their own mind maybe they was in two minds and they needed to make a choice they needed to make a decision they needed to follow their intuition and not allow people outside of the connection to encourage them or to influence them this person has individual um, I said individual well see that's because they needed to be an individual if they was listening to other people but this is someone that has unconditional love and this person that has unconditional love is literally like they're ready to come back they, they, they carry you in their spirit they, they truly carry you in their spirit and I get a sense that there's been this longing, there's been this desire, there's been this fire, you know, that has gone un, you know, unquenched. And I feel like they've been perhaps trapped in an unrequited love because I heard the word unrequited. And we got Nas, this is called New York State of Mind. And so New York State of Mind, New York, first, th first thought I heard about New York was just hustle bustle. That's what New York entails. That is just a hustle bustle. So somebody could have been like trying to hustle, you know, like I said, when I was picking up that ego death. So maybe they felt, you know, maybe they was just trying to hustle their way through a situation. Maybe they've just kind of been, like I said, in two minds. And this is conflict of interest. And that's why truth is here, because now they got to be true and honest with themselves. And their selves is revealing the truth of the matter and it's because now they're finally listening to their intuition they're finally listening to their inner gumption this is inner wisdom so they're not listening to the naysayers and the dedunts around them you know their fake friends that have no relationship at all they're now listening to their own intuition and what their intuition is telling them that inner wisdom is telling them is that they know what they need to do and what they need to do is they need to go towards that person they have this unconditional love, that undying love with, because it is something that makes them feel like they have harmony, peace, balance, like they're in alignment. Someone that they have this, this yoke, this equal, you know, this, there's an equal yoke. As I was saying, this familiarity even. And they have to be bold. This is someone very intimidated. And it could be because you were showing up as this divine feminine here. And if you're masculine, divine masculine, doesn't matter. Just, you know, and, and, and it's also because of your major transformation and the fact that you're very wise. This is the wise dome. You've been through a lot of changes. You've evolved from those changes. This person has literally watched you change, transform, 
your whole consciousness has shifted you have tapped into your Christ consciousness we got the crown chakra here and this person is recognizing all of your growth but you're also being recognized by the divine with this rewards and recognition you're being blissed this is wish fulfillment this is answered prayers and you're moving forward positively there's a positive movement forward and it's because I feel like many of you you have this new beginning here this is a new beginning that you're venturing out on and someone wants this with you and that's why they are coming in to speak their truth to clear the air to cut free from the the bull crap but this person definitely sees you for who you are now maybe this is someone who was in denial as I said this is self-deception this person sees you as a bright light a star they see you as the divine feminine divine masculine they see you in your power they see that you've literally healed from some sort of heartbreak, emotional loss, suffering and silence. And now you're bolder and that boldness is, is amplified. And this boldness is also making you more daring and risky as well. And this is something that's also triggering and activating them. So we're going to pull some messages from my deck. And see on the bottom of the deck, the ancestors approve. They are pleased. So they're pleased with you. And they are approving this connection, this soul tie. Because I do feel strongly that your ancestors are conspiring behind the scenes to bring, in, bring you into alignment with your divine feminine, divine masculine. And just as I said before, you got to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities because there could be some sort of, you know, divine downloads, divine interventions coming through. I also feel this is, you know, speaking to the wish fulfillments that you're also receiving. The animal totems, you feeling very, very spiritually aligned, very connected, You're getting all kinds of messages. That's also you like asking for what you want in meditation, meditating to get things straight. Someone longs to hear your voice. They miss you. So as I said, this is someone you all know, because for someone to long, you know, somebody to miss you, they, this is someone you know. Someone definitely chose another option and they got played. And they got played because maybe they were being superficial, airheaded, stubborn, proud, cocky, conceited. Now we got free dome, no longer trapped, no more mind fuckery. And remember, I was picking up the fact that someone was definitely imprisoned with their own thoughts. This is ruminating, pining, pining. And so now they freed themselves. Now they know, you know, that they need to get out of their head. So what do we have playing right now? And we have um, Gangstar. This is called Robin Hood Theory. And the, the name of this album is called Moment of Truth. So somebody's going to have a moment of truth. Like I said, this is someone wanting to speak their truth, clear the air with mentally stimulating conversation. Let's, didn't I say that you and this person used to have very stimulating conversations? This person enjoyed conversing with you. This person was in two minds. They was confused as to what they wanted. Maybe if they were in a relationship, maybe they were in that relationship and they felt like they needed to work there. Like I said, obligation. Maybe the children were, maybe they had children with someone. Maybe your children were a factor. Maybe you had children and maybe that was a, a issue, you know, but you took your power back. I feel someone is also now in the process of taking their power back. Choose wisely everything that glitters is in gold. Somebody made a wrong decision and they ended up getting played. I heard they went with what was familiar. I'm also hearing intimidation, the word intimidation. So you are a miracle and you deserve the absolute best. Someone that's going to treat you like you are royalty. You know, like you are that divine feminine, divine masculine is coming towards you. And this is a harmonized connection. And you're attracting this because this is what you are. Like attracts like. So you are attracting someone that's going to treat you, you know, like you are special. And remember, we had safer hands playing by Olive. So I was picking up the fact that somebody was going to be more attentive, more affectionate. They're going to be more protective of you. They're going to be more cognizant of how they treat you, what they say. Like this is somebody that's coming in and they're going to be mindful to treat you with the love the honor and respect that you deserve because they're going to see that you are a miracle that you are special 
and they honor that. Then they're, they're going to be appreciative of that. And I feel with this Artemis is because your angels and ancestors are aligning you with your divine masculine. Someone that got played for Boo Boo the Fool, they're taking this time out because they invested in the wrong thing. They chose the wrong option. That's why they're taking this time out. That's perhaps the reason why they're finding their sense of independence. We got independence and individuality, which is one and the same. So they have to, you know, learn to stand perpendicular in their square, stand erect, stand alone on their own and not be codependent on another person. They was in a partnership, but it could have been for, you know, superficial reasons, materialistic. Maybe somebody was just attracted to someone physically, but now someone is breaking free from that. They would realize they were being played. And with Robin Hood theory, maybe this was someone who could have been just using them for what they had and giving it to other people. You know, because Robin Hood um, is like he would steal from the rich and give to the poor. So maybe this person that you're attracting could have you know, stability, they could be financially said, and maybe they discovered someone that they were dealing with was just using them for the money. And then they was gifting other people with the money that they were um, getting from this person that you that's attracted to you, that's your twin, I'm feeling. Not an ex. I just watched the Tinder swindler. So this person literally could have been getting duped in that way. That's on Netflix. Y'all might want to watch that for somebody. You know, if you got somebody asking y'all for loans and giving you all these sob stories, you might want to dive deeper. Definitely don't give anything to anyone. Somebody got played for Boo Boo the Fool, so they were being used for their money. Somebody was definitely being used. Somebody was running up credit cards, having people uh, open up new credit accounts, and then they just dashed off with the cash. I'm hearing thief. So we got Alexander O'Neill. And it says, never um, knew love like this before. So, yeah, that's the epiphany this person is now having. You know, after getting played for Boo Boo the Fool and realizing that they need to keep it moving, they realize they miss you because they never knew a love like yours before. Because remember, we see that this person feels you're a healer. They see that you're very compassionate and you just radiate love and light. You're kind. So why is uh, time out? partnerships and alliances and independent here for the person Scorpio is attracting and how they feel. I don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions. So this could be the reason why you detach from that person because they were not emoting enough. And it could have been because they was in another partnership with another person. So they couldn't give you the time. They couldn't respond to you in the ways that you may have desired. And that's the reason why you may have walked away, cut free, blocked them, separated, whatever you did, detach. This person knows that they broke your trust. We got forgive me. So this person is how they feel in their emotions is they want your forgiveness. You know, they're trapped in fear because they know that they made a mistake. This is why they're up in their head. This is shame, remorse, anxiety. But they have this epiphany, this light is shining right to the left of them. So this is literally telling them, you know, because remember that song, um, look to the sun. So they need to look to the sun, which is the clarity, the truth that's going to provide the illumination and that will give them the strength ultimately because the sun represents strength and power and vitalization. It will give them the ability to, you know, find balance so that they can communicate. The divine is also, you know, encouraging you to be compassionate. You're all about showing you. So this person, what did I say? This person is going to be willing to come in and show you because they know that's how you feel. They know you have a sense of love for self. So you're not going to accept anything less than what you deserve because you see yourselves as a divine feminine. You carry yourselves as a divine feminine. You've healed from past pains, traumas, and wounds. So you're not going to accept anything toxic in your life. So they know that they have to come in and show you how they feel. And we got never knew love like this. So this person has never met anyone like you, which is why we got you are a miracle and you deserve the best. So this person absolutely is seeing you as someone very rare, very unique, very different, very mysterious. You carry this intrigue, like they're intrigued by you. So master your craft, sharpen your swords. So absolutely, like I said, didn't I say that this you know, is literally how they feel. They feel that you are healers, shamans, light workers, magis, 
You could be warlocks, wizards. You, you're just someone who is very in tune. You could be a psychic. You could be an oracle. You could do, you know, you could read card. Uh, um, you could be a cardomancer. You could be a scryer. But this person sees that you have mastered the, your arts, skills, gifts. You've honed them. And they see you as someone very grounded. They see you as someone also very powerful as well. And this is something that they are attracted to, that they appreciate. They, they appreciate your spiritual strength, your spiritual wealth of knowledge. And that's why they communicate with you telepathically and intuitively. That's why they dream of you, because they send you messages. Ask, they're hoping that you will be compassionate. They're hoping you will be patient with them as well as they heal, because they're trying to heal so that they can match your vibration. Underneath that, we got bright future. So they do see you as successful. It has, we have bright future, infinite supply. No need to worry. Better days ahead. Success, the security, stability, attracting all that you desire. Remember, this is how they see you. And before we saw, we were about to clarify this, and we saw um, material and spiritual prosperity. So they do see you as someone very, very successful. Like things are expanding. You have this, this air of, abundant like you're just abundant and these are things that you've manifested you're the master manifester why is uh why is oh man i keep forgetting what these cards are. why is healing trapped in fear rest and rejuvenate in compassion here for how scorpio's person feels about scorpio divine spirit love and light thank you no reciprocity only take 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 see that so they know they're going to have to come in and show you because you don't do you don't do well with that. And that's why the divine is saying be compassionate, don't judge. Because you you stopped giving to that connection because you felt like you was pouring into, you know, a vessel with holes on it on the bottom. It's like it will never fall. You will never be fulfilled if you're pouring into a vessel that has holes. So that's why you you walked away from this connection and you found your own sense of stability and security. You had to heal from that because there was a lot of, um, I feel a lot of mental conflict you may have suffered from. You could have been suffering from, you know, maybe your confidence was, was a little bruised by that, or maybe you felt insecure, but you have since healed and grounded and went within and did your internal work. And you realize that wasn't a reflection of you. That was a reflection of the person that you may have been dealing with. It says, what does their energy speak to your spirit? That's what you're going by. Didn't I say y'all speak energy? Very sensitive to energy. You're very sensitive to what you feel. And that's what the spiritual strength is all about. You've learned to trust your own intuition and not just trust what words people are speaking to you. And we have blue magic in the rain. So the rain represents water element. The rain is also, I feel so, it could represent someone crying. Someone could be crying tears because, as I said, maybe they're now coming to this grand epiphany with this eight trapped in fear because now they're having that, that aha moment. This light is now shining. So there's a sense of seeing things from a different perspective, a different vantage point, realizing someone is wish fulfillment, someone is you know, that um, rare find. And now someone also discovering the necessity to, to find balance, to find stability, to ground themselves. You speak energy now. You, don't, you no longer vibe with just words. You speak energy. So if someone's energy doesn't feel right in your spirit, you, not, you're, you don't even entertain it. So why is individuality, adventure, truth, intuition, Memories of love, the waiting game, the eight of cups, or emotional withdrawal, guiding children, unconditional love, and inner wisdom here for what's hidden in the energy. Thank you, spirit. And we got on the bottom of the deck, like minds. I've said like-minded. You're meeting someone that's your like mind. And look at this. You've experienced many life changes. Congratulations. So you've transformed. Your person has transformed. Remember, we saw the transformation card here. 
So just as I said in the beginning, you and this person are mirroring one another. And it's because you have gone through your major transformation. You have ascended and evolved. So now you're triggering your person to do their due diligence because they want to match your fly, your vibe, your energy. This is what's hidden is there is, you know, some major changes and transformations, some major shifts that are taking place with not only you, but your person and ultimately this union, ultimately this union, empath. See, you're, you're attracting another person like you. This person is just like you. You all are both spiritual practitioners, healers, shamans, light workers. You all could be psychics, oracles, this person's also very sensitive to energy, very wise, and they're also following their own intuition now. And that's why they're receiving this congratulations by the divine, because the divine sees that they are now starting to break free from listening to other people. Within the rain, blue magic, this person absolutely is someone that could be manifesting you or you're manifesting them or both of you are manifesting one another. That rain also represents healing, love, it's a release, access denied. So whoever was blocking this connection, I feel like there was a need for this to be delayed. I feel like you blocked this person because of the simple fact that there was some perhaps lingering or third party energy that was interfering with this connection i also feel like this person is making it their business to block out the people places and things that no longer serve their highest vibration because they're following their own inner gumption and their own inner gumption is telling them look you know what to do trust what you feel they're an empath as just as you are so not only are you uh highly intuitive but you're very empathic so you have a very um intelligent emotional communication you know and this person also does as well this owl also speaks to you know major uh, a lot just being very wise like this person's very very wise they know exactly what they need to do now some of you may be seeing owl totems i know i saw two uh, uh a couple of weeks ago i saw two owls one i saw an owl one day uh, one week and then I saw it another day another week during a nature walk so if many of you all could be running in and bumping into owl totems and that's just letting you know that there's major changes ahead and that's what this is it's just like confirmation on top of confirmation and I feel like you now have someone that's blocking out what no longer serves them because they have learned they've learned to protect their energy they've learned to set their standards higher because they're now, you know, appreciating their independence. They realize that their independence was the foundation for their security and their stability and ultimately their success. So with like minds, this person is literally mirroring you. This is someone that is going through their same dark night of the soul journey. And we have uh, Chico de Barge and this is called Love Jones. So this person is jonesing on you. They have a love jones for you. And as I said, with this 10 a completion, then we have spiritual partnership, communication, environment, and spiritual strength. This person is absolutely coming in. That's your A alike, B alike. This is twin flame. This is soulmates. This is the yang to your yin, yin to your yang. Look at that. What does their energy speak to your spirit? Like I said, you're listening to that. You're trusting that if it doesn't feel right, you ain't rocking with it, period, point blank. You don't care what they say. You don't care what words people speak to you right now. You go by the energy. You speak energy. Okay, all these cards I put in backwards. Let me fix that. I love John, love John, love John for you, babe. All right, I think I got a love John, love John. All right, so let me get another message. Why is uh, karmic completion, spiritual partnership, communication, environment, spiritual strength here? The Scorpios and the outcome. I want to hear your voice again. Somebody has a love Jones for you. This is a secret admirer. And this is someone that wants to rebuild what was destroyed. Remember, I mentioned the destroy and rebuild. So this is someone you could have had that tower moment with. 
They want to rebuild what was destroyed. They want to speak the truth. They want to express themselves, their feelings, something they've hid. This is someone that wants to hear your voice again and tell you how they feel about you. And they love you. They miss you. So let's get some messages. And then we're going to wrap it up. We're going to get some messages. I'm feeling I want to use... I want to use the Orishas. I'm feeling the Orishas. So the bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Pentacles. So this is someone coming in making a real offer. This is something that is like tangible. So they could give you a ring. They could give you a bouquet of flowers. This could be somebody coming in to offer like long-term commitment. This is also you having financial stability, security. You know, this is you receiving some sort of promotion, pay increase, job offer. This is a business deal. This is unexpected money, windfalls of money. This is a beautiful energy right here. And on the split, look what we have. So you got wish fulfillment. You got the ten of discs and you have the ace of discs. So this is like, you know, financial fulfillment, freedom, opulence, expansion, abundance, success. This is health and wellness, happiness. This is building a family legacy. This is that, you know, planting seeds and roots, building a nucleus. This is a long term commitment. This is someone that's invested in building a future, building a legacy, you know, investing in you. This is powerful right here. The 10 and the ace. So that's like having two aces out of the gate. So this is somebody that means business. You know, this is someone that means business. They could even see you as the mother or the father to their child or their children. This is somebody very committed with Love Jones still playing. They love you. Wow. Okay, let me get my cards together because I think I just messed them up. Give me one moment, y'all. All right. Thank you for your patience. All right. I just had to get my cards together because I noticed that some of them were upside down and I don't read reversals, but I like to start my deck off with everything in the upright. All right. So let's get a split again and shuffle. So what am I seeing? Nine of Swords and I see the uh, Knight of Discs. Yeah, so that is definitely somebody that's like ruminating, pining up in their head, suffering from insomnia, not getting enough rest. Someone that you could have cut things off with. You know, this is the death. This is your energy, your vibration. So this is the death of something, but the birth of something new. So you've gone through major transformations, changes and shifts, not only in your physical reality, but also I feel like consciously, like subconsciously, like mentally, you've, you've changed. You've reached some level of Christ consciousness. You see things clearer. And with this Eight of Cups, you definitely walked away from something that wasn't serving your highest good. You know, walking away is a show of, of self-love, especially when you're pouring uh, into someone that isn't pouring back, that isn't reciprocating. You know, it's very necessary to, you know, walk away from those relationships because that's toxic. You're not getting what you need, but they're getting what they want. You know, so you you ended those connections. You ended any type of connection. It's not just love ships, but I feel friendships, even family dynamics where you felt like you was constantly the one giving, giving, giving and not getting anything reciprocated. You just released yourself from those relationships, those connections. And now we have the queen of this. So now you're you know, you're rebuilding. You're more independent now. You know, you feel more grounded, down to earth stable, secure, self-sufficient, and you got people watching you, watching you as you have ascended, watching you have as you have this this perhaps success and stability in your life. You know, you've rebuilt what was destroyed because we see we have destroyed, rebuild. So maybe there was a tower moment and someone, you know, destroyed the connection that you were building, you know, the empire that you was live, residing in was burned down to the ground and you had to pack up, move and rebuild elsewhere. This person watches you and stalks your life. Um, they could be spying on you via social media, not spying on you by driving by your home. You may have spies by you, I spies that may live in your, um, your community. Somebody could be like spying on you even at your place of employment. But I see here uh, the page of discs. You know, this is you now, you know, rebuilding, rebranding. You know, coming up with new ways of, of creating, you know, making perhaps new business uh, investments or learning about new ways to, to rebrand. That's also someone coming in to make an offer. But I feel like you're like learning, building your skills and talents in a particular area. That could be even a new job opportunity, a promotion. 
So we have the Empress here. This is the Empress, bottom of the deck. Someone sees you as the Divine Feminine. And someone really wants to come in and offer commitment off the bat. This is someone that sees you as very powerful, very strong. You, you have a love of self. You're very abundant. You're very successful. And we have a tribe called Quest, and this is called Once Again. So every time I speak of someone from your past, this is somebody that wants to try again. They want another shot. And this is a spiritual connection. With this page of wands, they're going to communicate. They're finally going to get out of their head. They're going to muster up the strength, courage, and wisdom to come towards you. And they're going to express how they feel because I feel like this person wants your forgiveness if they've done something to, to disappoint you in the past. You know, maybe this is someone that realizes that you are emotional, an emotional being. That's your, part of your love language and that they need to be more expressive. Maybe they couldn't express these things because they were in a partnership, in a marriage with an ex. And now that they've freed themselves because they've taken this time out to heal from this emotional loss. You know, they're in that hermit mode, which is, you know, that time to reflect, to get those, you know, that, that internal um, self audit, to introspect, to deep dive. They realize that they were in the wrong. They realize that they didn't show you how they truly felt. They realize that they didn't give you much to work off of, you know. So now this person is coming in almost you know, with an olive branch to offer. It's like a, a, a offer of um, a peace offering, I heard. So why is time out, partnerships and alliances? I don't do well with people who are detached from their emotions, independence. Forgive me. I know I broke your trust. Show me here for person Scorpio is attracting bottom of the deck. And we have hermit. Didn't I say this person was in hermit mode? And then we got this 37, which is time out. So they're taking the time out, taking a pause after some sort of ending. See that? It was a painful ending. It was a painful ending because they didn't make the right choice. And they got played for Boo Boo the Fool. And then we have this two of this. Why? Because they was juggling. They was, I, I was picking up the fact that this person was in two minds and they kind of was juggling, literally. Like they were in two different spaces, but they were in a partnership already, but they could have been kind of like entertaining you or just getting their ego stroked. And you didn't know anything about this, I feel. But I feel like this, this partnership broke down. Something happened because this wood, you know, that wood, those are tree trunks. And the way that those wood, those tree trunks, it's like they're chopped down. So I feel like this relationship that they could have been in, that partnership, it, 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 it was they, if the demise, there was, they're going through a demise of the relationship. And this person could be at a distance from you and may want to travel to see you. You know, but they've suffered a lot of pain, a lot of loss, which is why I felt both of you had to heal. And they're coming out of this hermit mode, wiser. And we have uh, Mahalia, and this is called sober. So this person could have been like getting high, you know, smoking a lot, drinking a lot. You know, so sobriety is just also just could be just referencing someone is is clearer. You know, they have more clarity. You can, you can see better, you know, opposed to when you're under the influence. So with that sober, this person's now coming after, you know, coming out. They have their wand, their staff rather, and they're going after, you know, what they want with more passion. They're going towards a passionate new start. They're coming out of this, this, this protective space. You know, the trees, as I said, is, is a space. It, it is trees denote protection, strength wisdom because they're very ancient just like water's ancient trees are just as ancient so that's where you go to if you, you sit under a tree you may find yourselves you know getting a lot of clarity a lot of truth and that's perhaps where this person you know is is now coming out of of this hermit mode uh with more clarity all right and they're coming towards you and they have the staff you know just in front of them so the staff is like that new beginning so they're coming towards you because they see you as a healer, you know. Uh, so why is healing um, trapped in fear? Rest and rejuvenate, compassion, no reciprocity here for how Scorpio's person feels about Scorpio. You have a message of love and light, divine spirit. Thank you. And we have the five of cups, see that? Suffering in silence, trapped in fear. This is regret, remorse, shame, 
feeling like they missed some sort of opportunity, chose the wrong choice or option, I should say. And now they're healing. They may feel like, you know, they've missed this opportunity because of their, the poor de decisions and choices. And they're trapped in fear. They don't really know what to say, how to form their words. Maybe they weren't thinking and, you know, they weren't in their right mind. But they're hoping that, you know, because see this with no reciprocity. So they definitely had, you know, other options here. You didn't feel like they reciprocated. And the divine is reminding you compassion, non-judgment. And we have here the page of this. So this person does want to make an offer, a solid offer. You know, this is also someone that you could have worked with in your past or lived around. But I feel shame. I feel like they're, they're feeling shame. They're wanting forgiveness. Why is individuality, adventure, truth? intuition the waiting game the six memories of love thank you spirit it flew on the floor and we got the four cups feeling like they missed an opportunity missing you and we have um angie stone and this is called freedom so yeah they, they they're freeing themselves from a relationship and freedom is when you are independent you know so if they were in a codependent connection they now have this sense of independence so they feel freer you know, this 55 adventure is also speaking to, you know, that sense of freeness, feeling like, you know, you're doing things the way you want to do it now. And I feel this person is kind of getting out of their head. Maybe somebody was doing some sort of um, double talking or maybe somebody was perhaps doing love spells even and they're free now. They freed themselves from some sort of yoke. And we have Alicia Keys. If you ask me, I'm ready. So this person now, maybe, you know, they're ready to take that leap of faith. Maybe now they've that they freed themselves from a connection. They're they're ready now because we have, you know, this and, and you maybe you feel blocked, you feel guarded and they're just waiting for you to ask them. They've gone through some sort of transformation here. And with this four of cups, I just feel like, you know, this is someone that's now seeing you as, you know, that that blessing from the divine, like the divine is giving them this opportunity to because remember rebirth, you know, and there's a, a, a child in the womb. So this is like I'm, I heard the word rebirth when I heard that. So when I saw that, so maybe this is someone that wants to. To reconcile, to heal. And we got the queen of discs. So someone is really, they were up in their head because this, see how this needle is like right through the, the head of this feminine energy. So it's almost like they was just like, they was constantly thinking of you to the point where it hurt. But it's like they couldn't, it's like they reaped what they sowed almost because they didn't make the right decision because they was in two minds, but they have this unconditional love. But deep down, they know what they need to do. And with if you ask me, I'm ready. It's like they already know you, you know, because it's like the truth It's like the truth is finally coming to light. And if you ask me, I'm ready. So it's like perhaps that is how they feel, you know, like now, you know, if you were to ask them, maybe some of you all ask them to go to be in a partnership, to go, you know, to take it to the next level. And they were just kind of like. They, they weren't transparent with what they had going on. And now they're ready. Now they know. Because now they see the truth. And we got this queen of discs. So this is someone that sees your worth. They willing to invest. So why is karmic completion? Okay. And we have, who is this? The five of wands. See that? That's competition. This is listening to those da -dun -da -duns, letting other people veer you off your path. This is someone like literally confused and conflicted. It's like mental conflict. But the beautiful thing is karmic completion. Maybe they was up in their head. Remember we had um, breaking yourself free, like from the mind fuckery, seeing the truth or something to that degree from my deck. So it's like somebody sees clearly because you see all this, this action up, you know, all this activity 
right here. So it was like all these different people's opinions and advice and and instead of this person going and listening to their own intuition. And so now they're going to do what they see fit. And with the death here, they're going to end something. This is the karmic completion. So they're going to end the connection and they want to start, I feel, all over. And if you ask them this time around, or if they ask you, you'll be ready. I feel like the both of you will be ready for one another. Let me get one more message. Let me get one more message for... Did something flip over? thought it did oh yes it did and we got the four of wands there you go see 11 11 can't make this up so this is someone that wants to hear your voice again and it's because you are their twin flame you are someone that they feel they can build with they feel that they can they have more of um more in they have more in common with you they have more of a chemistry with you and with this page of wands they're going to come in and they're going to make this, this is like a peace offering. They want to literally like apologize because they miss you. So they're going to reach out and talk to you maybe on a Friday, maybe this Friday, maybe in a Friday in uh, four days. You know, I mean, another four. Well, yeah, Friday is in four days. This is the four of wands. Maybe it's four weeks, maybe in four months. But we got L O Cool J. This is called Love You Better. This person's coming back to love you better. This is somebody that is coming back to love you better. We got the page, we got the eight of wands, and then we have the queen of cups. See that? So this person is going to reach out and communicate, and it's coming quickly. So this is someone that's really coming in. They're going to express something. I feel like this is like, you know, somebody that can be at a distance from you. So they may have to travel. Then maybe they'll call you and make plans to come to where you are, you know, ask you to go out, maybe sit down. You know, have a little wine, glass of wine or something, a little drink, a little bite to eat, just to catch up. And maybe this person will use that opportunity to not just apologize, but to express their true feelings. Because we have Love You Better playing by LL Cool J. And so with the Queen of Cups here, this is your energy. This person is going to use, you know, their, their, this time to express their feelings, to express something that they've been hiding, something they've been... You know, trying to deny even. They've been, this is like self, you know, this is like uh, self-deception. So on the bottom of the next deck we'll be using, then we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> we got the two of cups. So this is your divine partner. Uh, this, this, there's no doubt about it. You got the six, which looks like the six of cups or the six of pen, uh, the six lovers. And then you got that memories of love. So this is someone you all know. Whether from this lifetime or a former lifetime, this is not an ex. This is somebody that is, uh, this is that person that you always felt y'all had a strong connection and chemistry. This is someone that communicates. Y'all both are like very telepathic, very intuitive, very psychic. And you both see one another. Like It's like they see you. It's like you both see each other. There's just this mirroring. You're both coming to the table fully healed. Grounded, balanced, and in alignment. And I feel this is a spiritual connection. And this is something you all have manifested. And you may feel it. You can sense this is coming in. And it's because you've manifested it. You've sent up the prayers and petitions. And you can just feel it. That's why that synchronicity card showed up. See, this wheel of fortune. Things are turning around in your favor. You have abundance coming in. Fortune. It's like this is a destined... These are destined life events. Everything you've experienced up until this point has all been preordained, as I said. And you also have a lot of prosperity. This is like recognition, rewards, wish fulfillment. This is you receiving the acknowledgement from the divine. You have the king of cups now. So you, you are matching your divine counterpart. You know, we just saw the queen of cups. Now we see the king of cups. That speaks to you being in emotional equilibrium as well. But somebody that loves you, that's watching you from a distance, watching you from afar, that likes what they see. And this person is going to come in and they're going to love you better. So as I said in the beginning, remember we had Olive and it said Safer Hands, the song. So this person has had some sort of major transformation and change, also gone through a major ending you know, has gone through some sort of karmic completion. And so now they know to love you better. So maybe if this person wasn't someone who was expressive, they're going to be more expressive because they've learned. And so we have uh, Shaka Demu and 
uh, and this is called Bomb Bomb, All She Wrote. So they're coming out of that hermit mode. They're willing to start moving forward. This is whatever delays, blocks, whatever it was that while this person was healing, while you were healing, it's like now there's the turning point. Things are starting to move and shake, the wish fulfillments. This is like fortune. This is offers, job offers. See that queen of swords? So this is your energy. That could be why the divine was telling you to be compassionate and non-judgmental because you have transformed Scorpios into that queen of swords energy. And that is just the energy of like, you know, you, you're not... You, it takes nothing for you to just cut something off if it doesn't honor you. And that could be why this person is like trapped in fear to come towards you because they could feel this Queen of Swords energy where you're just like, you'll just chop the head off Wu-Tang style, you know? So it's like they, they want to come in. You can see these doves, there's five doves. So they want to communicate. They want to say something to you because they know that you're like, you know, this cat, cats always denote like, you know, you being impervious to threat. So they could see that you could see through them. You know, like you could see through anyone, really, because you're literally an oracle. And so what this person is a little fear is a little fearful, a little intimidated. But these doves, this is like a rebirth. You know, they, they want to come in. They want to come towards you because they've had some sort of, you know, grand epiphany here. And they've also changed. And if you look, this this snake. This speaks to the change and the transformation they've gone through. But that eight, that that um, that snake is also making the symbol of the infinity. So this is someone that has discovered, you know, wish fulfillment, that you're a wish fulfillment, you know, that you're everything that they may have been praying for during this time of isolation, during this time of, you know, meditating and going within and seeking those answers. They could have been in a partnership with someone that was a queen of wands you know, someone that was very perhaps overbearing, controlling, because they had to turn their back and seek the light. You know, this could have been someone that was you know, maybe the, the other woman or the other man. So let's go ahead, cut the deck. So bam. So I feel like this person will surprise you, you know, see the death. You've gone through a major change, transformation. This is a shift in your consciousness. This is just a change overall. This is you like rising like the phoenix from the ashes and, and having a sense of deeper, more profound understanding of why you went through what you went through, what you've gone through. This is the, tra the change, that, you know, and you've you relocated. So you may be at a distance. This person may also be wanting to come toward you. Because this, I was hearing word resurrected, and that's what the death card is. It's like, not only is it, you know, rebirth, but it's like regeneration, resurrecting the dead. You know, so this person wants to breathe light, life, excuse me, and light into the situation overall. But this is your energy as well. So they see and notice, you know, how much you've transformed, how much you've evolved, you know, how strong you are, how wise you're spiritually strong and you are psychically wise, you know, and strong because you got that crown chakra just underneath that, which speaks to just how sensitive you are to energy. You know, you could just pick up on energy, the six of swords, this person's ready to move away from, you know, tough terrains. This is somebody that's definitely at a distance. This person is at a distance and they would be willing to come towards you. This is somebody that absolutely um, is moving, you know, removing themselves from a toxic connection and a toxic relationship. And we have Lee Morgan, and this is called I'm a Fool Too. So remember this person, it said, um, when I was clarifying these messages with my deck, and it said, I got played for Boo Boo the Fool. And that's what this person did. They made the wrong choice because we also had choose wisely everything that glitters is in gold. So whoever they were in a partnership with, whoever they were in alliance with, played them like a fool or they feel like they got played for a fool and it could have, you know, really impacted their their independence, their confidence because maybe this was a codependent connection. Maybe they were codependent or reliant on someone that may have just kicked them to the curb or maybe they discovered someone was using them for money. But 
that partnership as a whole has definitely broken down. This Ten of Swords is literally the most painful emotional loss one can suffer. You feel betrayed, you feel backstabbed, used, and this was the demise of a relationship. This is someone that's kind of juggling, discovering someone's juggling, building somewhere else, while this you know, this uh, tree trunk is being broken down. This one is full and solid. So maybe they discovered someone was rebuilding with someone else and not really putting any time, effort, energy into that connection, not committed to them. Uh, so now they realize they're a fool. Um, and this says I'm a fool too. So maybe with this energy also, they could see that you've also been played for Booba the Fool or that you've been in a karmic relationship where you weren't honored or treated well. And so they see that you feel, you know, like you also were played for a fool. Like somebody took you for granted. Somebody abused your kindness. And so they feel like you two mirror, mirror one another to that regard. So uh, let's see, why is, um, um, why is uh, time out and all these other cards here for how Scorpio person feel in their emotions. Didn't I say this person wants another chance? I kept hearing like resurrection, rebirth, come back around for a second chance. We saw B-side, you know, that song B-side played by um, the Brat featuring Biggie or Notorious B.I.G. So this person does want to start again. It's like they want to resurrect um, the connection, the bond with you. You know, maybe they feel like a fool because... Whoever played them for a fool, now they realize they were played. And so now they're looking at, you know, things from a different perspective, as I said. And they see how they may have played you because with this show me, they know that they didn't show you, um, you know, that love, that attentiveness, that affection that you deserved. And that's why they're asking for your forgiveness because they broke your trust. And maybe they broke your trust because they weren't honest or transparent about whatever it was that they were involved in. But this is like they're having this wake up call. You know, this is like that epiphany, that aha moment. And the wheel of fortune is here. This was all destined. This is a destined thing. I feel like this is a destiny type love connection. Because as we saw here with Artemis and Harmony and even the Empress, you know, I just feel like this is a connection. Your angels and guides are they're aligning you and this person together. And this is happening, I feel, um, in divine timing. It's all a matter of divine timing. And as you clear out the old, the new can come in. And so now the wheel is turning in your favor. I feel like there's a turning point in your love connections. Why is um, healing here for how Scorpio person feels about Scorpio? Okay. So I'm not going to take all of these. <sighs> but I am curious to see. So we have the lovers. I can't make this up. The lovers is what fell, I mean, flipped over here on the table, and these all fell on the floor, this lump, and I'm going to expound on those. But the lovers, this is how they feel about you. And this is why they feel shame, remorse, regret, because they know that they made some really foolish decisions uh, in their love choices, not choosing you. And that's why they're trapped in fear to come towards you to express how they truly feel. But I feel like they're going to get out of their head because what they're doing is they're, you know, kind of like rejuvenating their spirit, finding their confidence, um, and also like reflecting, doing internal work. This is like, you know, meditating to get things straight. And um, with this compassion, you know, maybe someone judged you, judged the connection, but they're going to see the light. They see things very clearly. And what they see is that you are their twin. They just have this chemistry, this synergy, this chemist, this connection. And that's what I was saying. This reminded me of, you know, they, they've had this epiphany. You see how the sun is just, you know, right next to this masculine's um, crown chakra, you know, right above their head, right around their head. So it's like that's that epiphany. That's that illumination. They're seeing you as someone that brings a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. I feel this person's almost in because it's like they're almost translucent. translucent. So it's like how they feel about you is they, they're longing for you. They're dreaming of you. They're missing you. So this could just be them dreaming, you know, of holding you. And then when they wake up, it's like you're not there. 
And so that, that, that could be something that they are also like, you know, manifesting you. They're manifesting you. They're calling on their angels and their guides. But they do see this as a strong connection. Something that could lead to marriage. And so we have the um, the song by Notorious B.I.G. It's called You're Nobody Until Somebody Kills You. You know, and um, so, yeah, this person, they could have killed this spirit. Like I said, you know, uh, somebody's self-esteem really took a blow. You know, maybe you being the death card, you know, you you breaking free, disconnecting, detaching from that connection. You know, that's like a death. So you could have killed that connection by those means. But I do feel like now they, they're seeing something very clearly that they didn't see before. And if they're seeing the fact that they didn't nurture this connection, they didn't show any reciprocity. But this chariot is here again. So now there's like this movement, this desire to come toward you. And it's because they found balance. They feel grounded, balanced, and in the line and in control and more confident now. So this trapped in fear, they've moved out of that. This is the second time or third time the chariot showed up. So this person is feeling more confident. And this is like yin-yang energy because you have this dual energy here. You know, so this is really someone very powerful, very confident. And it's like I see all these beautiful trees. So this is someone that really wants this connection to grow, to flourish. They're coming back very confident, very, very, very powerful. And they're also like, they feel like, you know, more stronger, like they're a leader, like they're a boss. They may see you as a boss, see you as someone that's a leader, you know, someone that's very successful even. Because this emperor is like that um, entrepreneur. So maybe this person does see that you've been like really mastering your craft and working on things. And they're really to rush, they're ready to rush in. And I see a masculine energy falling out of this tower. So they could have absolutely had some sort of tower moment in their life. And there goes the Ten of Swords again. So, yeah, this is the person because the, remember the Ten of Swords showed up in the person you're attracting here. So this is your person's energy and sentiment is like, you know, they, they, they it's like the song is you're n nobody till somebody kills you. So I feel like somebody had the death of an ego because they got caught up in a relationship where they got played. And so nobody till somebody kills you. So this person's now resurrecting or evolving or transforming into their actual power. They've been through a lot. I feel both of you have absolutely been through a lot. But see what this person's doing. They're moving away. They're getting out of the tough terrain and they're moving towards peace and finding a new safe haven. This is someone also traveling to see you. And look what's on the bottom of the deck, that Ace of Wands. So that's a new beginning. Somebody's seeking a new beginning. So let's see, why is individuality here hidden in the environment? For what's hidden in the environment for Scorpio. I can't read all them cards, but we got adventure, truth, intuition, the waiting game. I saw a card flip over and we have the Four of Wands. I can't make this up. This is somebody that is absolutely sees this as a divine union. This is someone that has unconditional love, undying love for you. This is someone that's from your past that has been holding on to you. They have not let you go energetically. They carry you in their spirit. Maybe the both of you have been waiting around for something to transpire or someone to reach out or this one to reach out. But I feel like this is your divine counterpart. They're up in their head about you, constantly thinking of you. And maybe they feel like you're blocked. You know, you've blocked them. Maybe you have blocked them. You've blocked their numbers. Maybe you've moved. You haven't shared your, your, your you know, your location. So somebody feels blocked, but they feel you energetically, emotionally. You know, there's a, there's a strong uh, spiritual tie, soul tie you two share. That could be why this needle is here as well. Because this is something that ties and binds you two together. Uh, this person's thoughts of you are constantly... Um, they're constantly riddled with thoughts of you. And I feel like this is why, you know, they're being told to trust what they're feeling. 
you know, to trust that intuition. But this is the yang to your yin. This is the 1111 right here. So this is someone that is, um, that speaks your love language. This is someone that wants to build that family, that legacy, that, and we got brownstone, if you love me. So this person is going to come towards you and speak to you and communicate with you. Got the Ace of Cups. This person does love you. So they're going to come towards you and they may come in and propose like this is somebody that knows what they want now because they've been through enough. You know, they, they've been healing. They've been in hermit mode. They've done their internal work. They've been healing at a soul level, you know, and they've since cut themselves free from that karmic relationship. And the only thing that they can think of, the only one they could think of is you guys. Scorpio, because this person here with this four of wands, they, they're thinking of commitment, marriage, long term. This is powerful. And she just said action speaks louder than words. And that's why we got show me here, because they know that that's what you're looking for. They know that that's your love language. And they know they didn't do enough of that in the past. This person is watching you like a hawk. See that eye? This person's watching you. And this person is watching you. They could communicate with you maybe during this full moon that's coming up. I believe it's on Wednesday or maybe Tuesday. I'm not sure which day. It's one of those days. Check wherever you are. But this person is absolutely coming in. This Something's manifesting. And she says, if you love me, say it. So how do they? Let me see. It. Let me hear it again. If you want me. So she's just basically saying, if you love me, say it. Because this person hasn't said it. And if you want me, prove it. And if you need me, show it. So it's like, say it, prove it, show it. So that's what this person is going to do. They're going to come in and say how they love you. They're going to come in and show that they love you. They're going to, like, their actions are going to prove this. And we see that they love you because you got the Ace of Cups here. So there's no denying that there is love. There is a profound love here. All right. So why is karmic completion, spiritual partnership? Wow. That flew back at me. And look at this chariot. They're coming in. I can't make this up. You got the four of wands here twice. And remember, I was picking up, you know, with this card here four. I was saying this was like, you know, that that um, twin flame energy, you know. So this is you and that person mirroring one another. And I feel like this person is closer than you even imagine. This is the four, four. So the four of wands for you. So you're finally feeling stable. You're finally feeling secure and self-sufficient and independent. And your person is as well. And I feel like that's why this person is going to come towards you. Because now they're balanced, grounded in alignment. They have the confidence. They're going to be assertive. And I feel like they're coming towards you. They're rushing towards you. And this is somebody that is rushing towards you to make an offer to provide stability, security, somebody you could have worked with. I feel like it took a lot of time, patience, but someone is finally going to say how they feel. This is that Ace of Swords, so they're finally going to say it like Brownstone was just saying. And there goes the Three of Pentacles I referenced when I saw this 6-6. Uh, six, six, I referenced the Three of Cups, Swords, Three of uh, Wands, and the Three of Pentacles, and I feel all of them came out. Um, or at least they showed up during the shuffle. But we have this three of pentacles, willing to collaborate, willing to invest, seeing your worth and value. And it was all a matter of divine timing because, as I said, you all needed to heal thyself. And she's carrying two chalices, you know. So one is of fire, one is of water. So this is about, you know, passion. But this is also about emotional fulfillment, healing. And this person is coming to invest, coming to, some, coming to invest. Oh, man, this is beautiful, Scorpio. So this is your reading. I hope the message is resonated for you. Um, if you found that the messages did resonate, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification um, so that you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. And if you are returning, beloveds, love is love is love. Until next time, I say peace. Enjoy your uh, Valentine's Day, and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Right now we got um, T.I. featuring Rihanna, and this is called Live Your Life, okay? So live your best life, live your truth, uh, but I feel like somebody is going to come in that you're going to live your life with. This person is coming in. This is your divine feminine, divine masculine, 
and you're going to live your life with this person, okay? Because I do see here this family. This is that nucleus. This is that legacy. This is that happily ever after. This is that happy house, happy spouse vibes. Somebody that's going to speak your love language. Someone you're equally yoked with, a like mind. Okay? But thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in. Until next time. Ashe.